come over here. Oh, hello. Oh my god, that's nice. Such a good shot. My game. Oh, baby. Baby. dead hello everybody how are you all doing welcome back happy wednesday hope you're having a good week so far we are live on twitch and youtube you can watch on either of those whichever you prefer doesn't really matter to me as long as you're having an excellent time whilst you do it mickey how you doing rob welcome luke welcome 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 i thought the start today once i turn my headphones up We'd have a quick talk about the uh, Ducati collab that is um, <clears throat> that is going on at the moment. It's just gone live on PC. We get it on console next week. Let me find the um, uh, a little link so we can have a little read about it. So basically, this is another uh, you know vehicle manufacturer tie-in like they've done several times before but i think we all kind of assumed it would probably be with a crafter pass like they had previously done but um this one actually doesn't have a crafter pass it still has the points like the red tokens and the little red pyramid things and all this stuff but there isn't actually a um there isn't actually a crafter pass for it you you just have to kind of spend money you can't can't just unlock it by you know paying i don't know what 10 bucks for a pass and then uh you know gradually unlocking uh points and stuff hey prom how you doing lovely to see you mate <clears throat> don't you have to buy a real ducati i mean you pretty much yeah you have to have, probably cost you about the same price as buying a real motorbike to actually unlock one <laughs> we'll have a quick look at it hang on i've got my thing up here 
this guy. So this is the uh, PUBG article about it. This is, um, I think it's live. The update went out yesterday on PC. I think it's immediately live, right? Yeah, it is. It is live. So you can get, you know, it's a nice looking bike. It's if you're into bikes, I'm kind of meh on bikes. You know, it looks nice. I guess I can appreciate a nice looking bike. I don't really know much about the brand other than being aware that Ducati is one. Um, so you can get the Ducati in a bunch of different skin, in a bunch of different colors. I guess the gold and black and maybe like premium or something. Um, there's the, the epic version and the legendary version. Um, not a basic version, just legendary or epic. Uh, and it all goes on the motorbike. There's the Ducati container in the pregame lobby, as we all know and love, having vehicle noises going off while we're waiting for our game. Um, and all the rest of it is pretty normal. But yeah, it's, it's basically you. Um, something that was of interest was so Steve who used to work for PUBG posted a bit of a breakdown he did on Reddit of the cost. He kind of worked as Steve the Happy Whale on Twitch he is now. Check him out. Good guy. He did a bit of a price breakdown of the Ducati and how much it costs you to get one because there is no pass for it. And he reckons, I haven't verified this date. There's, there may be mistakes. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone question it um, or correct it, I should say. Um, thou shalt not question Steve. Uh, to get the 1500 token bike, which is the legendary, or we will call it basic bike, uh, you have to spend $168 to buy four times step up bundles, uh, which costs you $61, and buying the 400 tokens um, for two times 150 token bundles in the store. I don't know if there's a chance that you might be able to get them for less than this through luck with prime parcels. Like before, you could sometimes get a full unlock or something from a prime parcel, but it's very low chance. Uh, to get the other bike, it's going to cost you about 300 bucks. So, pretty, um, pretty pricey. Thanks, Steve, for that and his ever-vigilant watch over the um, wrongdoings of PUBG and some of their somewhat expensive monetization schemes shall we say in a mildly mildly diplomatic way uh, Nacho how you doing good to see you mate MCI my Harley gonna be ready to ride today no need to pay for a Ducati in game nice exactly I mean if you've got if you've just got a real bike just go and ride that sounds great Love to see you, Nacho. How you doing today? You got much planned for your um your non-stream day? Is it uh is this like a an actual rest day off for you, or are you just feverishly working away on other things? Hey, tell how you doing? Good to see you, mate. On PC lobbies now, you get to hear the Ducatis drive around. How does it sound? Does it sound alright? Sort out me various. Various tabs. There we go. Um, so that was my little Ducati intro to justify the thumbnail and title and to share something of interest uh, with you all that hopefully was mildly interesting. The, the other interesting thing about the update is that um, uh, the diggy diggy hole, the pickaxes stuff, digging hole with pickaxes on Rondo, that went live on PC yesterday. Uh, and then within about four hours or so was disabled because there was a bug with it where I think on some people's screens, it wasn't showing the holes that were dug. So people would dig a hole and then just kind of disappear into the ground. So um, yeah, there was a bug with it and it's been disabled. So they don't have that on PC at the moment. So um, yeah, I don't. who knows if they'll be able to get that fixed for console launch on thursday um next thursday is the, this console launch because normally we just get the exact same build the pc got which would have the issue with it so i don't know if that will get the console will have a knock on you know there'll be a knock on effect and it'll get delayed or what but um we'll keep an eye on it we'll um we'll wait and see I mean, I, I'm not streaming next Thursday anyway, because I'm flying back from Dubai, so I don't care. 
Hey Pigeon, how you doing? Good to see you mate. How you doing? How's your customs been going? Uh, Treadstone, good to see you. I got the pass with 14 quid I had in my dream wallet, then spent 1200. G coin, and you got the black Ducati. Excellent, nice. Was the pass isn't a craft? There's not a crafter pass though, is there? There's not. A, there's no crafter pass. Is the pass just the season pass? Did you get the Ducati through um, a, a? Did you get it unlocked in a prime parcel, Mister Hammer? Most of today off, Norris. Enjoy it, mate. You out there slogging away. Have a chilled one. You've earned it. Why did they remove that one g bike in the game um, like two years ago or something? The one that was kind of like the single seater. I don't know how you just what are they, it was like. A, what do they call it? Like a roadster or something? I know the bike you mean. It was it was it was like the kind of a little bit of a Harley esque sort of thing, wasn't it? It didn't turn very well, but it made a good noise. Yeah, that was in the game briefly. Dubai, I, my friends get married in Dubai, so I've got to, he lives out there, so he's one of my oldest friends, so I've got to fly out there for that, which is quite expensive. As you can imagine. Take your own booze. Well, you can, um, I mean, it would be fine. I'm not, you know, I can get by without drinking anyway. But you can, uh, I'm not 100% sure on, like, the rules and stuff there. But I think you can, like, the like hotel bars and stuff. I think you can um, drinking. So there might be an opportunity to have, you know, a drink. But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, generally speaking, a kind of dry um, country. But, um, yeah, I think there are mechanisms that do allow you know the foreigners to come in and have a cheeky a cheeky drink hotels you can drink but it's around 10 quid a pint oh good it'd be like being back in iceland <laughs> but warmer maybe i'll stick with the water then <laughs> already spent enough flying myself out there the hotels weren't bad actually the hotel prices were pretty reasonable i thought Quite, quite cheap, the hotel. You know, it's not a glamorous one, but it's just a basic thing. But yeah, hotels weren't weren't too expensive. The flight was about 550 quid, which was a, a kick in the dick. I mean, thank God they did start paying out on their creator codes otherwise i certainly wouldn't be uh, <laughs> wouldn't be going out to this um training menu that wasn't too bad was it still a couple more of these we're going to do solos today that's the plan i'm a man with a plan and that plan today is to play solos unless the queues are horrendous and i don't know then we'll just moan about slow queues while we sit in lobbies i guess maybe we could throw larry's in there or something if I'm getting um, particularly jaded. Yeah, I've never been to Dubai before. It's not somewhere I've um, ever really had planned to um, visit, but, you know, needs, needs must. I assume like you can still get the Ducati for less than it says in Steve's thing if you just get lucky and get it on a as a prime parcel unlock, right? Like I'm not saying that's a great mechanism, but you don't have, you know, you you could potentially get lucky and get it with less, you know, with the appropriate gambling, you know, um, luck. Taking away the craft pass for that seal pump should just buy the bike outright. Yeah, I hate it's so confused. I like just, you know, if they want to charge a load of money for the bike, just 
stick it in the store for like you know 50 bucks which is still a rip off but at least people will like know what they're spending rather than people might spend a hundred dollars and still not get it you know if they get unlucky or they could spend 20 bucks and and get it it's a crazy city with mad drivers a bit like essex I'm kind of picturing Dubai. I'm assuming that like every person in Dubai is a millionaire and drives a Bentley. It's kind of the the, the image I have of the place. Which isn't really my kind of, you know, vibe as a, you know, a punk and a lefty at heart. But also, you know, I'm also quite middle class. So I kind of, you know, can roll, roll with both sides. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm, I'm sure I'll have a nice time. It's nice going there with... Um, you know, visiting a friend who lives out there, so he knows that he's been out there for a couple of years, so he knows what to do. But I'm hoping there's like some kind of area we can go to where it's maybe more like traditional kind of Dubai, Emirati. Like, I'd be interested to find somewhere that was like, you know, traditional kind of more like local style food or something would be interesting rather than like posh, um, you know, glamorous, expensive restaurants and stuff. Not that I'm averse to a you know a posh restaurant but when i go to other countries i feel like it's quite nice sometimes to just be able to have a bit of like the proper local food not just like the fancy tourist food man of the people of the people for the people to the people on the people Should let me do this while I'm queuing, shouldn't I? This would be, that'd be good. We, that's a great suggestion. We'll write that down. Hey, PUBG. I won't bother. They wouldn't change it, would they? It's a good idea, though, isn't it? Like, if I could do this while I was queuing for solos, oh, I'd be shit hot this game, wouldn't I? I'd be like that guy gaming that show. He's really good. You, I think you can in ranked, can't you? You just can't do it in casuals. Yeah, it's a shame you can't do it in normals. I don't think I've ever actually done it in ranked. I mean, it's been years really since I played ranked, I suppose, but... I quite enjoyed watching, like... Watching Nacho do this the other day and then like, you know, looking at how I normally do it. So it's quite interesting, you know, if you're interested in boring things. Um, you know, how we, we both aim very differently because that Nacho has like high ADS speed um, sends. And so, you know, we just kind of whizzes around in ADS, whereas I'm like in and out of ADS and kind of... I, so I feel like the technique, when I was thinking about it the other day, I feel like my technique is more kind of... I'm like using the ADS as like a break because it slows down the movement when I because I have a lower ADS send. So I'm kind of like throwing my aim across the screen when I'm in this view. And then we're like Bleh! throwing that on as a little break rather than having like the mechanical ability for me to like stop it on the point at this kind of speed. Because, I, just, you know, it's really hard. But with the break, you know, it's like fast, fast, fast slow, slow. Anyway, does that make any sense? I'll um, I'll write that down and um, script it better for next time, I promise. This is all scripted, by the way. I hope you realise. Fully scripted. The whole five hours. Every word. Neil, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Hope you're keeping well. I was having a look at um, in Insomnia Gaming Festival earlier. Has anyone been to Insomnia? We did talk about this a little bit the other the other week. I might try and get up there for a day. They've got an event in September. I want to kind of go up there and have a chin wag with um, with brands and stuff. And it's probably the best place for me to do it in the UK. Um, to go and harass harass companies and do a bit of networking. So I might try and go up to um, Birmingham in uh, September for a day if I can. Hey Fatty, how you doing? You need to do the sand dune driving experience. A guy razzes his car around the sand. Kids enjoyed that when we were out there. Oh, nice. Well, I, I, 
I don't want to spend loads of money on like doing stuff when I'm there because I've already had to spend quite a lot of money getting there and sleeping there. So I don't know how, how much time I'll have to do stuff like that anyway because we've got like a couple of nights off at this place where he's doing like wedding celebrations and then just like one night either side sort of in Dubai. So we'll see. I might, I'm probably going to keep it relatively cheap and um, cheerful. Right, I'm warmed up. Absolutely cracked. Oh, wrong button. Actually, let's do my audio while I remember. I mean, the hence what this is why I'm going and not the missus because it would just been ridiculously, ridiculously expensive for us both to go. So now I've got to find something nice for us to do to make up for that. <laughs> Maybe a bit later in the year. After a few more paydays. Bye, honey. I'm off to Dubai. Bring back a camel. I mean, I could bring you some camel lights or something. That's pretty, pretty achievable. They have cigarettes out there. They're not big on alcohol. They like a smoke. Doesn't really feel like the thing it used. To, I guess smoking such not such a popular thing anymore. Or maybe it's just the circles that I roll in. But I remember there was a, there was a period when I was younger where like any time anyone went abroad, they were just buried with requests to bring back massive packs of fags and backy and stuff like two hundred decks of ciggies and massive pouches of tobacco because it was all so cheap. If people, especially when people go to like. Eastern Europe and Greece and stuff and you'd always come back with like duty free packs of pack tobacco. No one wants it anymore. It's not cool. They want a pack of two hundred vapes. Well, we're in the queue. See how we get on. Hopefully some Sanok today. Hey uh Re Relia Das. How you doing? Welcome. Shisha smoking. Yeah, that's that's a very like sort of um, Middle East, Far East kind of North African thing, right? Kind of Arabic is that? A, is probably a correct thing, but yeah, I don't. What? Where? Wonder where it or wonder where it originated. Shisha. But yeah, I reckon that's they've got to have shisha over there, right? Shisha's quite fun. I remember that being a bit of a fad for a while when we first discovered that in the UK. It's like, oh, it's like it's a bit like hitting a bong, except it's socially acceptable and you don't get off your tits. You thought that was a kebab? <laughs> you can have a shisha with your shish, with your chicken shish. Keep an eye on that timer. Two and a half minutes. No one plays solos anymore, do they? Don't find the duo queue hasn't been terrible. It wasn't, I mean, I guess this week it was a little slow because we had quite a few botty lobbies. But squads are still good. But yeah, just solos. There's just not, I don't feel, just not as many people want to play PUBG solos anymore. Everyone's got too many friends. What chat is he reading? I'm reading Twitch and YouTube chat at the same time both chats good i'm going ranks now almost master nice ggs i haven't played rank for years i'm reading this chat it's got all of you on it clever isn't it it's got all of my friends in one place What the fuck is that? Oh, is that the stupid present thing? Oh, Jesus. Why are you bothering, lads? Little Aaron Gee to start. Just get out of job. Now you're going to play PUBG. Nice. Enjoy. Enjoy your ranked. How's the um, cues for ranked these days? I haven't played it for so long. <coughs> 
Excuse me. See, this is where you need that change like we've often talked about, Nacho and I and various people, like to just get the lobby to start counting down when it gets to like 80 players and just start with however many it's got. You know, that probably could have taken like a minute off that wait time doing that and it probably still would have filled up to 100. And, you know, just feel like it'd be great. Makes sense, I'm on YouTube, so you're not seeing the chats you're reading. Yeah. Yeah, I realize it can be a bit, um, makes it a bit odd sometimes when I'm talking to people from two different chats, but you just have to swamp the chat with, you know, YouTube people talking. You have to dominate. <laughs> it's very difficult. Too many cheaters. Are you on um, PC? Relio? Uh, Patrick, how you doing? Can you tell me more about this update, please? Um, well, I, talk, I went through the patch notes in detail on Monday's stream. So if you want to see me go over the patch notes uh, for about 10 minutes or so, go and watch the first 10 minutes of Monday's um, Monday's update, uh, Monday's stream VOD. Sorry, it, will, it is on the channel. Most YouTube viewers can't read. Wow, Twitch are putting you down, guys. You're on console, PS5. Ah, okay, yeah, I don't really come across any cheaters on casuals, so I don't know if ranked is, has more of an issue with it. I uh, hate heed, heedful beef. How you doing? First time tuning in for a while. Missed watching regularly. Oh, well, welcome back. Hope you enjoy it. Bit of solos today. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to give the little stream a like. Click that like button. It does help out quite a lot. And it's a nice free way to um, to support the channel as well. So um, if you want to do a little thing for me, then give it a little click. I appreciate that. 56 people watching on YouTube already love that. 30 odd on Twitch. Pretty much at 100 viewers already. Love to see it. Thank you. Do I want to do a 1v1 later? Um, no, little could interest me less. But... Um, but have a have a lovely time on ranked. <laughs> What's a good loadout nowadays? Haven't played in about two years. I don't know. It depends what you like using. I guess like meta wise, lots of people are running. The barrel still seems to dominate on, in the ARs, really. And MK12 is very powerful. Mini still very popular. It depends what you're doing, doesn't it? Like most time we're playing. We're just having a bit of fun rather than trying to be like particularly super sweaty or anything. So it kind of depends, you know, what your goal is really. I think when you've been playing it for years, you just kind of like, ah, just, you know, just here for a little bit of fun. See what happens. Hey, plugs, bud. How you doing? Is YouTube better quality than Twitch for the stream? Yes, it will be. Pretty sure that guy saw me. Right, I'm here then. Ah, should I'm better there. Back in the queue. 
Hey, Ro, how you doing? Aaron goes solo. Let's go. Oh, I'm dead. The next update is going to be OP with the bike. I mean, well, the bike's just going to be just as fast as a normal bike, isn't it? It's not going to be any faster. It's just going to be a different sounding, different looking, same old bike. Because they can never make the... They can't make any of the... Um, you know, the paid vehicle skins, like, better than the normal ones, because it's just, then it's, like, pay to win, isn't it, if it's faster or whatever. Well, at least we had a quick queue that time, and it's nearly full. I'm a bit of shit with the ump, really. It's not my, like, when I'm, an SMG, when I ADS, I feel like I always just do a bit crap with. Whereas, like, you know, if you have an SMG and I'm with, you know, they're a little bit close to that, and you're soft aiming or hip firing, perfect. But when I'm trying to, like, ADS with SMGs, also, I guess with SMGs, the problem is when you hit, when you ADS and you're used to shooting ARs, you're aiming for the body and the head. Whereas if you just over-shoulder them from miles out and your bullets go all over the place, you hit their limbs and then the limb damage multiplier actually drops them. But it's just hard to have that instinct to, to soft aim from miles out. But yeah, it's just a bit scrappy there. 150 quid to get the tokens or luck in prime crates. Yeah, pretty much, right? It's uh, they, there's no crafter pass for it this year, so you can't just get a pass and then work through that and then kind of unlock it through the pass like you could with the McLaren or the the Aston. Hey Andre, thank you very much. Release some equity in your. <laughs> Maybe that's the new thing that PUBG can start doing. Maybe that's what they're working towards is you know facilitating equity release. Hey, doing row, lovely to see you, sir. First Q was quite slow getting in the Erangle game. Erangle game. It was um, nearly three minutes. But this one we were in Insta, which was lovely. It was lovely. Yeah, another, yet another very expensive thing from PUBG. Would you believe it? Yes. It's kind of surprising though, because the passes have always seemed like a very popular thing. And then they have extra layers of monetization on top of that. Whereas, I mean, they have a normal pass this time, I guess. But yeah, not the crafter pass. So it's going to be interesting if they deem that to be a success or if just less people will bother. It's kind of focusing the monetization on like the the whales, isn't it? You know, it's saying we'd rather the the top few people with lots of money spend lots of money than maybe the middle to low spenders spending lots of them spending a bit. Decent. I'm now eating pie and chips. Oh, that's a decent in Wednesday one o'clock lunch, isn't it? Nice. If you're not smiling, balls Lovely. to you. Who's that? Bully! Thank you for three months, mate. How you doing? Good to see you. First sub of the day. Love that. Okay, studio. I haven't been here for a while. It's quite a fun little place. It's got tons of loot. Waiting for the update to find out if they fix the crashes on PS5. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say they get crashing issues on PlayStation. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. Jesus. See we can manage. Try and do a bit less crap than last time. Hey Tom, how you doing? Let's push this guy straight away, but we need a back. There we go. We did that. I'm terrible.
There we go. God, a bit scrappy today, aren't we? But we got that guy dead. Jesus. Just pretend none of that happened, apart from the bit where he died at the end. It's fine. No one saw anything, right? I'll take the GGs. Oh, hello. Oh, unlucky. Tagging him nicely. Sounded like there was a second guy running around outside. What's up, Kick? How you doing? Got some nice hits into him with the vector there, but shoddy does it. Boom, 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 boom. I'm surprised it didn't do that much damage to him. Instead, it did 31 damage to him. I thought he took a few more bullets than that. This goes on YouTube, bit of creative editing, we'll sort that. We're already on YouTube, mate. It's all on YouTube. You're watching on YouTube. Oh, we after that slow first game matchmaking, these two have been um have been good. So fingers crossed. If it carries on like that for the day, I don't mind dying early because we can just keep, you know, not dropping having fun. It isn't going on YouTube. Hey, Swally, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. You thought that was Nacho? No, just some rando. There was a lot of people there. It was a popular, popular drop. I need to get my eye in a little bit. Am I playing crossplay? Yes, always. I mean, if you wouldn't get matches this quick if you had crossplay off with you. Man, if matches came this quick every time on solos, it would be a, so, a totally different experience. I think we've just got lucky with a couple here. Sometimes you just get in a bit of a lucky kind of rhythm. Magna, Premium, and Diesel. Three games, three different maps. At least we're getting some ro rotation. We still got Sanok as well till tomorrow, right? We could get Sanok today. There's a chance. Tell me there's a chance. It tends to be how the sessions go is I just have like a bunch of games that are like zero and one kill and then like a 15 kill win and then a bunch of games that are <laughs> zero to two kills. You don't play normals. I guess ranked, like, presumably ranked, you can't play with cross-play off. Are there, are there like, cross-play off ranked queues? It'd take you. I'm not sure you'd be able to get a game, would you? I had a few solo games last night. Kept dying like a noob. Oh, it's just PUBG, in it? You know, that's what happens. Had enough reasonable runs to keep you from uninstalling. It's the spirit. I don't mind. It's not when the matchmaking's quick. It's all right. It's when you like drop and die quickly, and then you have to wait like five, six minutes to get in a game again. You're like, ugh. You need crossplay to play ranked. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd love to know like how many people play with crossplay off because you do get occasionally. I'll get like a YouTube comment from someone where they they mention that they think that crossplay means you play with PC players, and I think some people have it turned. Like, some people like having it off just because. You know, they prefer playing with lots of bots, you know, and that's fine if that's what they want to do. But some people do just have it off because they think you, it means you, you know, you play against PC if you have it turned on. Oh, there's two of them there.
That's what I was trying to do. Get like a sight or something. There is someone here. I wish I had a sight on this fucking mutant. Bad what he's doing. Cool. I really need another one. Um, well, we'll stick with this for the minute. Let's see if we get on. You played solo, Sony only for the first two years. I should add squads are so much better these days. Is that just me? What, like fun wise or like queue time wise? Um, I mean, I. I mean, my favorite sessions are doing duos because it's just, I think me and Nacho just have such a great dynamic and I just really, really enjoy that. Um, that's fine, that'll do. But uh, squads is good fun too. I mean, solos, I don't think it's anywhere near as fun as it used to be back in the day when it was a lot busier because you just have lots of different people, you know, playing, whereas now you just bump into the same people all the time and it's not as like fun and silly as it used to be. Where did this guy go? Not good. So where the crate guy ended up, that wasn't him that was shooting me. We were just shuffling around near each other. Hey Phil, how you doing? No way that was the crate guy. Yeah, I used to be like solos was just my thing. I played so much solos, but yeah, I think it just doesn't doesn't feel quite quite the same these days. That was a good hit. To that other first aid that I got. Oh, okay. Hey, planes, how you doing? Juan, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just been take every game for me. Hey, Soph, how you doing? Do I use a mix amp or something? Uh, I have a, um, the Astro A50s have like a base station that basically does the same job as a, uh, a mix amp. 
I really enjoy Tago, so I I wouldn't mind that to be honest. Guys here. Guys here, nice bolty shots. The other guy. And then I got shot in the ass. Get through these first aids quickly, aren't we? Hey Yuri, how you doing? Who's he bolting at now? Hey buddy. He did realize where I was. Oh, there's a storm on that guy. That's possibly useful if he's still there. Vicky Dragonov. I'll take your dragon off for the single shot power. It's pretty much like having a bolty when you're at the right range. There we go. We shot quite nicely on that guy after a few questionable bits of shooting so far um, today. Oh, look, there's a... There's the man. Headed him. Well, yeah. It's a shame he wasn't quite close enough for uh, the one tap heady there, unfortunately, with the draggy. We did headshot him. Well, it was a fun little fight at Power Grid, wasn't it? There were like the three of us just shuffling around for ages there. Need to get a new vest. My vest is quite shagged. Pretty looted, doesn't it? But I'll have a quick look. Need meds as well. <laughs> Don't really have anything in the way of meds. Isn't isn't ideal given that we're in the blue. I think we're just gonna have to get in the play zone. Let's go back to the old days. Headshot time with the canine. I mean, bolties are a great option for solos. They're I think they're much more powerful on solos than um, squad based modes because you know you get headshot and you're out of the game basically whereas squads and duos you always have that kind of extra life of, of getting knocked oh my god my my poor health we just risk going in here and it's so badly like overlooked this place but feel like if we keep driving across the zone we just need to go past one person who pulls off a fairly average spray and they're gonna and they're gonna kill me we gotta gamble with I'm gonna get some meds and a vest here There's the vest. Still need meds though. We've got eight already. Come on, even just some some bandos. This is such a horrible place to loot. This is kind of why I thought I was like, well, no one's gonna be here. <laughs> An energy drink. Something. I'll take it. Oh, there's the there's the fucking zone though. We're gonna have to go. Oof, this is 
rough. We're going to have to pull up somewhere else and get some some meds. I might try going up this hill if this hasn't been like fully looted up here. We could do a bit of looting and come in later. There should be a secret in this graveyard. A stair down to crates or something. Yeah, like a secret basement even. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna hope that this warehouse here hasn't been hasn't been done. Which is probably quite optimistic. If not, I'm just gonna die to the play zone. And some bandos. We crawled under this? I think you can, right? Can't believe how bad this has been for first aids. There's some more bandos there. That's some more at the top as well. Oh, that's... Please don't come in here. There's a man outside. <laughs> I can't afford it. I can't let him steal my truck. Well, I mean, at least that it'll. There's no excuse not to just keep uh, taking bandos. Hmm. We're in a pickle, aren't we, really? I'm not sure if he stopped to try and shoot me or if he, like, ran off towards the play zone. Does that some of that old school PUBG tension? Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, he went off to get that car. Nice. Okay. It's fine. Okay, we'll save, save one. Save one for luck. <laughs> Where are we going here? We've got to go away. <sighs> got to immediately drive into a rock. How unlucky have we been with meds? I mean, I guess we found a few meds at Grid and then we just got kept getting shot and having to use them, didn't we? Still, you know, that's solos. It's kind of kind of crazy like that. We need to loot someone who has lots of loot for us, really. Um, but it's obviously going to be a little hard to kill someone when your health is completely, completely ballsed up. That looks suspicious, doesn't it? Thank God. He wasn't far away. There he is. Hey, buddy. Yeah, the underarm grenade wasn't going to cut it from there, mate. Um, We're being a bit oblivious to our surroundings here, but we need to just, like, get some shit and then we can carry on. Fuck it. I feel like I'm kind of compelled to take extra bandos after the med scrapes we found ourselves in. There we go. Shoot some Chad in the back and there you are. Well, exactly. That's all we need to do. <laughs> You're only one step away from shooting a Chad in the back and being on top of the world. Decent spray on this guy. I was happy with that. That's the zone. It's a fair way off. I'm never running out again. All right, let's go. I've 
I'm so glad you can, like, being able to drive and med was such a nice little quality of life change. Like, I know it's a bit janky, like, you have to drive in a perfectly straight line and stuff, but it's still, um, it's much better than it was. Where do we go here? We kind of need to be on the other, the other side, on these hills, really, which is already going to be busy, but... There's a guy up here, so we're not going to just rock up on that. I want to go up there, I think. Sure. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what we meant to do. Just drive over the roof. You're still alive. That's what matters. That's what it's all about. It doesn't matter how you get there. Some dippage. Usable dippage. That's what I'm all about. Ben Usable Dippage Thompson. They used to call me. Mate, you need to be using some dippage. You need to use that dippage, my son. Poor use of dippage. This is Trials Fusion or PUBG, man. The Trials games were great. I used to love those games. It's very open here, but as long as I don't get immediately headshot, I can dip back into cover if I come under um, any kind of dangerous fire. Quite far away. Oh, we are... We're going over there. Okay. Let's just go. Pick at the edge somewhere. Yeah, I think you're right, Yuri. In, in fairness, that that probably does make sense. Like, yeah, you have to take on a bit of risk if you're gonna if you're gonna med whilst you drive. Softly. I don't think it was this close. No, he's there. I'm not much of a sneaky, sneaky up on you kind of guy, but sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta embrace it a little bit. This is the stage of the game where I really regret not having a level 3 helmet because you're doing all this shooting, but any second someone could just take your head off when you stop to take a shot, you know. Have a bit of a scout around here. He didn't have a bolty. Is that that guy shooting at me? He was kind of over that way. This is the risk now, that area from people coming up from town. Guy across the way there, but...
lucky boy. And there's definitely someone down here that was firing a minute ago, somewhere on that ridge. If you're not smiling, balls sure to Sure, boss. Thanks so much. God, that guy's armor must be so shagged right now. This next um, zone is pretty horrible for us. Got the quad still. I think we're going to have to use it. There's only two left. One's probably that guy on the tree, and one was probably the guy coming up from... Maybe tree guy's got third party from the right seat. So that guy? No, he died. So that was the guy that we saw a minute ago. And then maybe a guy that came up from town. I'm tempted to go on the crate just to get the helmet, but it's... And then smoke and shoot. Right, let's go for position. This is... This is better position, I think. Yeah, it's... Uh... Guys over there then. Should have smoked this first, but we've committed now. Don't know where the other guy is. There's the hut, a couple of huts that we're in. He's put himself out of the play zone there. There's the last guy. He died. Nice. There we go. Calm. Calmly does it. Not a huge amount of kills, but a fun little uh, fun little game. Then he managed to fire off an entire mag of P90 rounds in the last 90 seconds of the game as well. That's the perfect time to get a P90. Two people left, you can just fire it like crazy. Yeah, enjoyed that. Good bit of movement, good decision making. Dug ourselves out of a tricky power grid at the beginning. Nice. Great to see 200 plus people watching, 130 on YouTube, 76 on Twitch. Love to see that. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the like button. If you enjoyed that game, it does help me out a lot. Lovely free way to support the channel. Thank you so much. Honestly, you at the start, those are the ones you win. Yeah, the ones where you feel like you're up against it a bit and then you make a, a sensible decision to move on, get yourself in the zone, get yourself equipped. Just get into that late game with decent stuff. That's all you got to do. 1,200 damage and seven kills is pretty harsh as well. I mean, that could, that's 12, 12 people's worth of damage there. That is a big damage deficit or a kill deficit. Worked your ass off for that. Thank you. Thank you, Rui. Cheers for the GG. Sorry if I missed any hellos during that. If I missed anything you said during that fairly lively endgame there.
Feel free to post it again in chat and I'll keep a, keep a look out for you. Man, 1200 damage and 7 kills, that's wild isn't it? Hey BSX, how you doing? Great to see you mate. Yeah, first win of the day. What, third or fourth? We had two or three very quick like died off the drop pretty much games and then that one. Hey, Jamie T, how you doing? Great to see you. Mickey Rambo, love to see you, Mickey. Botha, great to see you there, mate. Granddaddy Evil, thank you, GGs. Better get back in the queue, because it takes a little while. Shush, that's enough for you. Oh, look at that. Another bit of luck with the queue as well. Solid game. Thanks. Yeah, it was good, that, right? I, I think we needed to kind of go through that progression to, like, a couple of... After having a couple of quick deaths, just kind of getting, uh, you know, getting back in a rhythm, getting your confidence back a little bit. Classic Don Tomo gameplay, dick about in the blue with no meds, then go parkouring on a bike. <laughs> yeah. Just being patient. Dicking about in the blue always seems to play to your strengths. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Morale boosted, yeah. Had to rewatch your last stream. Did anyone tell you there's more than one Jammer Pack skin? No, no one mentioned. What's the other? Um, I hadn't really looked in the store for a while, I guess, since I got one. I haven't seen the other um, Jammer Pack skins. I mean, I'm not surprised. It was quite a while ago that I got um, the one that I have. Good graft. Yeah, we worked for that. I think going for the crate was a good option in the end. I don't, I don't know how much of a difference it made. I feel I probably would have done about the same using my barrel. But having the armor was, you know, just it's just nice to know that you can't get one shot headshot. But then the, the last two guys, like, they weren't giving off, you know... Um, with vibes of being like absolutely cracked like it didn't feel like they were gonna pull off some unbelievable spray and drop me before i could shoot kind of thing and we had good zone the guy in the hut you know he should have got out of there he put himself in a terrible position he should have got out there when i was fighting the other guy and got on to, if he got onto that ridge then he would have been you know he would have had a nice position to play off of but he was just ended up in a terrible position And again, you know, the second to last guy, I flashed that rock when I came up for the crate. So I was like, well, that's where I would be if I was him. I'd be pushing to that rock to shoot down on the guy who's in the smokes in the crate. But he, he kind of made this big loop round and ended up again in quite a bad, quite a bad spot. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an I'm earth on, shattering I'm on 53 kaboom. likes, Reaper. If you, if you refresh, you might see more likes. 53 likes I can see on YouTube, which isn't isn't a bad effort, I would say. Already in the stream. Only been live an hour. That was a big drop, wasn't it? Jesus. Let's see if we can get that over 100 by the end of the stream. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. 54. Some absolute lad just click the like button. Good on you. Uh, Swoop, how you doing? Great to see you, mate. Welcome. Oop, that's enough of that. Did the refresh. Uh, so the update, yeah, sometimes for me, updates are all right on the dashboard, but for you might have to just manually refresh to see the likes sometimes. Um, yeah, next Thursday is the update for console. That was one of the funnest games I've seen in a while on the edge of my seat the entire game. Ah, nice. I mean, that's that's what's a, that was a good, you know, PUBG just does that like no other game, I think, for streaming. Like, it really, like, every game is a little story. When you have a game that goes end-to-end -end and you see it live, like, it just, they're just, they're just great little mini stories, every, every game like that, I think. Particularly when you're kind of on the edge like that and it, you're, you know, it's, it's been very close. Wouldn't mind a level two vest. Oh, sweet, there's uh, 8,000 of them. Brilliant. I didn't notice anyone else drop here, but never, never say never. Oh, 
I think there's so, you know, that's one of the big reasons for PUBG's continued success. I guess that's a bot. <laughs> I hope that's a bot. You know, PUBG's continued success as a streaming game over all these years is is exactly that, you know. All the little stories it tells. Well, we're taking that, aren't we? Why don't you have a gun? What's going on? <laughs> But like, sometimes I feel like you find, I think the first one was a bot. I don't think that would have been a bot there, would it? So sometimes you drop at a random place like this and it kind of ends up being one of those places where people drop when they want a bit of a quiet drop because maybe they're not very confident. And then you go there as someone who plays a lot. It was a bit like chucking a shark in the fishbowl, isn't it? Like that was, I mean, that was, that's got to be a real player, that one, isn't it? I don't know if I should keep the 3x on it. That feels a little ambitious. Why not? That's why it's nice to watch them live. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the the videos. Yeah, you don't get that same sense of um, trepidation that you might get on a with a live broadcast. Let's ditch the three. I'm not going to use that. It's fine. I can always chuck the 6x on it if I want to use it at range for a bit. Go away! Sandy sand, 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 sand. Let's take the muck. It's got my fancy skin on it and it glows and looks pretty cool. We've got so much ammo. I don't have a single first aid, but. You need meds when you've got 500 rounds, all right? Me, I do. No. That's not terrible. We fixed. Well, we um. Don't be. Really, well, I'd, yeah, I'd take another first aid, I suppose. There's so much fives here. <laughs> we got more boost than we need. We'll dump some of them in a minute. I think. In exchange for some throwy things. Ooh, and this lovely leather three vest. This reminds me of my PUBG games. For me, it was survival games, so I wasn't very good at the fighting part. <laughs> cool. Let's um Let's go. Let's go! We filled up our pockets. It's starting to love the M249. Oh, yeah, it's it's such a great gun. I remember when they changed it from like took it out of crates and kind of made it like it is now. Although it's had a couple of rebalances since then, but you know, I remember when they changed it and just I was just really gutted because I really loved the old M249 and the one from the crates and stuff was just it just felt like such a rewarding gun to get in a crate and it was really shy and the mg3 when it first came out was a bit unsure on it but now like the mg49 is just so so good these days and the mg3 is unbelievable sounds like a bot hey stick main how you doing Good to see you, mate. What's new in PUBG? All sorts. There's always, always crazy new things. We get our console update next Thursday. With the uh, digging a hole on Rondo ability added in. Um, let's see if we can see this. Hey, Belch, how you doing? 
I'm definitely a Ben. Definitely one of the Bens. Oh, he was on low health. We shot him to death in the toes. God, I just hate laying prone. It makes me so paranoid. I killed him, mate. He's dead. Expect you to pop up there. Oh yeah. Kind of a weird attack there. It was a. It wouldn't have been a bot, would it? A bot wouldn't be like hiding so well. So it was bizarre to make that little attack there and then not try and get me when I get the buggy, not try and take out a tire, not try and push when they've hurt me. See you later, shit lords. Exactly. That might be a bot. I caught the LMG episode of the Ben and Ben show. Nacho was amazing with those things. What are you saying about my LMG uh, efforts? Jeez. Yeah, I watched that actually. One uh, Nacho's game the other day. What's he, what's he doing? One bullet left for you, mate. Would have been good, wouldn't it? Uh oh. Oh, mate. Why are you both trying to snipe me, honestly? Look, this lad up here. Snipe each other. How, do you reckon they can hit me with... I think they're too, too pants to hit me when I get in the buggy. Look at this. Two, two of you sniping me from each side. You let me get in the buggy and drive off. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ, Fenton. Well, it was Nacho's YouTube. That's true, it was. He did do very well with it, didn't he? With the um, the Tago game, the little kind of mini bridge block, and then that duo's finish in the compound by the bridge. It was, it was a good game, wasn't it? I really enjoyed that one. It felt like just a quite a fun tactical finish at the end as well if you saw it live it went on for quite a while that we were in that compound i think nacho said yesterday they already pulled back on the trench digging yeah they they disabled it after like a few hours because there was some some bugs with it I think what they had said was that if you're not smiling balls to you then my xbox went pop so picked up a ps5 can you remove my xbox tag from the clan tactical dod and replace it with my ps5 gamer tag of the same name thank you please <laughs> good bit of admin there um yes uh you remind me in between games or um, something, and I'll try and remember to do that at some point, Yorkshireman. Thank you for the resub. How you doing, sir? Um, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, I think it was. They were saying that like sometimes when people were digging the holes, it wasn't showing the hole on 
other people's screens so it just showed them kind of disappearing into the floor yeah he's good with the mg isn't he brian how you doing nice to see you mate don't really need anything do we smokes we do actually need smokes Ooh, that plane is miles away, but that's not my buggy. Could be a spawn, I guess. Oh, that's a flare. That's why it's miles away. I think we stay here and we'll um we'll try and get a crate if we uh see the normal plane. Hey, Mike, how you doing? More smokes, lovely. Guys gone very quiet. <laughs> I mean, I respect the crazy plays. Oh, this isn't very good cover. You got me pretty low with the crazy SMG fire there. Pretty nasty. Freaking ump. Never trust an ump. Love to shoot that glider down, but we need to med and get a vest and such. Doop -a -doop -doop -doo -doo. Here's the plane. We won't make a crazy dive for this plane unless it's... Well, I'd just go for it if it's kind of near, but... I'm not sure already at the stage of the game for... Driving across the circle trying to get a crate around here. Especially if we're in the zone. Hmm. That's very... Oh, it's a double as well. It's very open, but it's... Ugh. It might be worth, it might be worth a crack. Just the level three helmets, just you know, win games. Definitely saw me there. miles away those crates that's fine look at everyone going for them though we're kind of vulnerable now because this guy's got so many ridges he could work round on Nice. That's what we needed to do.
Everyone loves using a freaking glider now, don't they? I don't know how I may have did that and didn't get my hat shot off. It's pretty unbelievable. <laughs> There's so many snipers around. We were making quite a racket. Oh, we got to move. Wow, right over there. So low. So I just go for him and not the tire because we were prone, but he must have been on like red HP there. It's very satisfying when you DMR people out so so quickly like that. Must have medded a bit, I guess. Get through ammo quite quickly now, aren't we? Oh my, who almost had me? No one's almost had me this game. No one's even got close to having me this game. You almost had me? You didn't even have your car. Oh, wait. Stay here. Put it on this this hut, then we have a bit of hard cover. Miraculous. Brian, thank you for the bit is. Is terrific. I loved it. Barely even hurt. Barely even hurt. Jump jumping up. Yeah, the jumping ump boy did get me a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, you're in my game and you're and you're watching the stream. That's nice. That's Barely great. even hurt. Makes a fucking change. Doesn't Barely it? even hurt. How fast was the car going? Is that the guy from right down the bottom? You have the wrong things in your pocket, sir. I can't really... If I reload my M249 now, then I won't be able to reload my MK if I... Because I'll put the ammo in it. So we just have to... Not that we're struggling, but... There is the dead guy up here, but he was just a little exposed to the guy on the ridge. Someone's got an arm. Your helmet and all of your ammo. Thank you. Oh, there's a man. <laughs> it's Bolty Tastic. Frag me from. I thought it was from below, but I might be wrong. Hey, it was. It was this guy. Come over this freaking ridge. Come over the freaking ridge. Ooh, I should have moved. I should have killed him is what I should have done. Let's 
guy's still up top. Is he in the, in the zone still? This has been such a sketchy position in the middle of the zone the whole time with everybody shooting me from so many angles. Thank God this car is here, actually. It's been quite useful. Like, guy below, guy up high, guy over there, guys driving past. Please push him off this freaking ridge. No, it's not going to push him yet, is it? But if he was dead, I could focus on chipping away at everyone else, but... had to just make that count. We knew we could eat the headshot probably from the guy up there. Is he getting pushed down now? He is. Good. Let's get this loaded while we have a moment to think. So there's still the guy down here. This guy is going to have to come down. I mean, this guy is going to have to come up. I have to move off of this, but then... I could kind of use this a bit, really. It's not awful. There's still a lot of people left, though. I guess a lot of them are over there. Orm is still in play. We need to watch out for that. I already looted that guy, didn't I? He had sevens. But this guy is still just still sitting there late, isn't he? You gotta move, buddy. We need to hit him a tiny bit more to make that make that hurt. Hello. He's gotta run up here though. bit to work with there. Uh, so there's still a guy... Was the guy down there still up? There's a guy in that car. There's a guy there. Are you the Orm guy? I think so. There's, there's one. So there's one just there. The car guy and then this guy from the mountain over there. Uh, we gotta move though, which is quite rough. Oh, fuck me. Was I showing my head? Jesus. That was the mountain guy, and there's already one guy up here, all just like racing up. <laughs> He's going to be on that ridge there, and then there's a guy on my left as well. Oh, he got around the bottom. Sneaky. Did I drive right past him? Was he like proning down there? I thought he was up here. I don't, I, he, may, he might just walk down, I think, from that tree, I guess. He snuck around. GG. So oh, it's a good game. Good game. What's that, Belche doing? There was a nasty zone there. I mean, apart from that, that guy who was already there, but everyone else had to... Um, yeah, me and the other guy had to make a bit of a bit of a shift another good game 1400 damage 11 kills happy with that 
Yeah, two nice ones in a row there. Should have been a bit more mindful there. I thought I put smoke down just as a bit of a distraction from those guys. And then I was kind of hoping that they'd kind of both go over the top there and uh, we could work that to our advantage. But that guy made a good little good little move. I should have got the guy as he jumped off, really, and that would have made life easier. I would have just had maybe one to deal with. Although I guess he third partied the guy I was shooting on the Jeep, so maybe he wouldn't have gone down. But What's up, Rancid? How you doing, mate? Bit of Rondo. Sure. It just, it's a shame you can't kind of turn these off if they're ones that you don't want because sometimes it gets kind of annoying when you'll be like you know in the last third of the game and then suddenly like a random atex that you don't need has appeared in your inventory and you're trying to pick something up and you can't because you've got like some some ra like a bicycle or a, you know a shield that it's spawned into your inventory without you asking it to because you've you know picked up a smoke grenade or something I find it kind of annoying Let us see what we can do. Miraculous. I'm, I'm cock a hoop. I think it's terrific. I loved it. Replicating my 55 watch streak haiku here, Rondo Island gleams, whispers of waves softly dance, nature's symphony. <laughs> it's very nice, Grimly. Thank you, mate. Thanks very much. How you doing? Go for the tennis classic that I do with Nacho. TBP, what the fuck? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I always try to change them to reward coins. That's a good idea. You don't only get so many re-rolls though, don't you? I tend to re-roll them in the hope if I get one with a level three vest, then, you know, that's useful, but none of the others I really, really care ever care about. Because all the other stuff, there's plenty of loot on Rondo, so I don't need a 4X or a smoke grenade or even an 8X. Most of the time you can just find one. Jeez. I guess.
Three re-rolls, yeah. A stone goon. GG's. He snuck up out of nowhere. Sneaky boy. Bum, bum, bum. Hey Kizzy, how's it going? Come matchmaker, you've been doing okay for us. Keep it up. Had a uh, a good uh, comment on my PUBG settings video last night, just saying why you talk so much. Seemed like a weird like. Sometimes people say that on stream <laughs> when they presumably like watching people who sit there in silence playing video games. Which, thankfully for those viewers, there are literally millions of um, in the Twitch directory with with one viewer. But uh, this was on a video, like a tutorial video. I'm like, do you, how how do you expect me to do a tutorial video <laughs> with without talking? Seems a weird seems a weird thing to desire, doesn't it? Very confusing. It's not a long video either, really. And it's got a chapter listing, like you can literally click to the bit you want to watch. Just grunt. <laughs> Guttural animal noises. Why so many words? Strange people, aren't they? Strange these people on YouTube. <gasps> That's a Sanok game. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Sure, die off the drop, but give it a go. Um, by the way, I made a playlist of some of the bands that I saw at Manchester Punk Festival the other weekend because a couple of people have asked. <clears throat> about that um so i made a spotify playlist of that i can't play it on stream when i'm streaming on youtube because some of them might get copyright flagged probably not many but some of them might uh but i posted that on our discord in the general chat room so if you're interested in listening to some of those um you know diy punk ska punk ska core bands from the uk and america then um have a look on discord there's a nice spotify playlist there with um, a few songs from each of the bands that i saw at MPF 2024. Let me know if you like any of them. I think they're all bloody great. 
Uh, I'm also going to try and get in the habit of posting the in the announcements channel on Discord with today's stream just so it can have the YouTube link in it as well to make it be easier to find. You can normally find it pretty well just by going to our YouTube homepage, right? And um, and if I've scheduled the stream, I normally schedule the stream like on the morning of that stream. So you should see it pop up there and you can do like notify me or whatever. So you get the link to watch it on YouTube. But um, I'll try and post it on Discord as well because I figured out how to make it do a little countdown as well. So it can say like stream will be starting in two hours or 15 minutes or whatever, which can be quite handy. So keep an eye on that announcements channel. And, you know, you can always subscribe to notifications on a channel in Discord as well if you still use Discord. I don't think people use it as much. I feel like early on, everyone was very excited when Discord first popped about. And it was like, oh my god, what a crazy new thing. And now it's just like, now it's just something in the background that we all kind of have. Like another, another um, social media. Hans Gruber and the Diehards. It's a great band name, isn't it? They're a Scarcore band. I think they're, they're American. They were really good. They were one of the bands that I didn't really know. That I, I hadn't seen before. And, um... I'd heard good things about them, and, uh, you know, when there's a band playing at a festival called Hans Gruber and the Diehards, you've got to go and see them, haven't you? Uh, Texas Punk Band, there you go, from Texas. They were they were good fun. Yeah, they're kind of Scarcore, really, rather than, you know, Punk Rock or Scar Punk. There was a bit Scar Punky kind of stuff, but they're quite Scarcore-y, so if you like a bit more, a little bit more screamy sort of stuff. But they were great, great live show. You ever see them playing in a town near you? Paps are in Texas. And you like a bit of Scarcore, go check them out. Oh, we should have gone Docs. Wasn't paying attention. Hey, Candy, how you doing? Lovely to see ya. Boop. How you been? Yeah, Hans Gruber and the Diehards, good name. Another band that I didn't see at Manchester Punk, but they've played it a couple of times, is uh, who I don't really know their music, but they're called Smoking Gives You Big Tits, which I very much like as a punk band name. Uh, the Menstrual Cramps, they played there this year. VSS Uzi Game, we'll see what we get. Yeah, good, thanks Candy. Smoking does give you big tits. I mean, yeah, it's, that's what I've heard scientists say. Anjo, if you stream snipe me one more time, I'm going to ban you from YouTube chat and I'm going to report you to the PUBG partner team and they're going to give you a month ban. So fuck off. It's not cool. It's really annoying. Don't be a dickhead. All right. Last warning. Oh, shit. There's some good names. You should check out the lineup of a punk festival. They've got some good names. I mean, the stupidity to come in chat and, like, tell me, say GG and tell me your gamer tag as well. Like, fuck me. Strike in the lobby. If you're It'll not be smiling, booty. balls to you. GG, that was me easy claps. <laughs> hey, Gar, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Have you, um, completed your... 10,000 kill jobby yet. I haven't had a chance to um, tune in as much lately, but I, I did um, pop it on briefly the other day. Hey, Pop, how you doing? This guy's been fucking shooting away for a while, hasn't he? Um, cool, right. Science nowadays would probably say something dumb about smoking. Yeah, I, um, you know, I, I'm not sure I can confirm or deny that smoking does give you big tits, but that's definitely what the band's called. So in the, in the realms of band science, you know, it's fact. It's all I can say. 
gnome in the lobby again. It's the thing with solos. You see the same people all the all the freaking time. Nice little um nice little C4 kill there. From Gnome, GG's. That bot maybe. Kinda wanna take this Well actually I kinda really like the Uzi for this map, don't we? But Is there a scope somewhere? There's a lot of bicycles. Seems to have decided to stop shooting me for the minute. Sounds almost a bit botty, doesn't it? Also, it's quite disrespectful when you say it's a bit botty and then it's not, doesn't it? I just ran by a forex. I did not notice that. Got a lot of tat in moment, haven't I? Uh, it, it wasn't actually Gargod, it was just a little, um, it was just a little funny. I'm pretty sure that's a bot. You reckon there was a 4x back here? Alright, chat. We're trusting in you. He's not hit me yet. Was well, just a little joke, hey, doing Daughter King? Just a little funny. That's quite botty, doesn't it? Maybe it's all a ploy. Hey, doing Chewy, lovely to see you, sir. Well, there was one along here, was there? I did feel like maybe there was one under a bicycle. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you're talking rubbish, chat. You can't be trusted. You passed it again. I'm not going back again. I think you're winding me up. You're on the fucking wind up here, mate. Let's get the bot! He's very patiently wait oh patiently waited for us. Mountain boy. Almost very appropriate. Almost mountain boy. I feel like I'm very fraggable there. So yeah, good recovery there on the back foot. But there's that 4x. Oh, we found it. I swear it. I can, I can never trust you again, Naughty King. All these years of trust we've established. Not you, you twat. Um, cool. Let's, um, get out of here. We are in the zone. Of course we're in the zone. It's Sanok. You're always in the first zone. <laughs> it's impossible not to be in the first zone. It's so freaking big. So freaking big. Let's get out of this dip before we regret being here. I might have a jammer, actually. Hello there, Bangladesh is number one Tarkov streamer. Yeah. In the flesh. The digital flesh. It's my uh, my preferred kind of flesh. Well, it's probably the longest I've stayed alive on a Sanok game for about two months' time, so I'm quite quite pleased with that accomplishment. Well, I'm jumping, man. J 
jumping man, doing what he can. Is that a bot? Mm. Nah, I don't. Mm, well, mate, let's just pretend it was a human. Yeah! Debatable. There's a nice spray, though. It's clean. I'll have that. My wife is losing the plot with you and the 4X. I've got it. I've got the 4X. I, like, I prefer this one. It's going to be ours. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's probably streaming today. He's a full-time streamer, not like me. He's always on. With his chomping on his M&S goodies. Jeez, must be doing all right over there. La Dida. Well, no crate for, for old Tomo. He's a sex dragon. Da -da 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 -da. Um, well, it will be in this. Oh, yeah, there it is. We'll just run and get it. Be fine. 335. You stream a lot, Beard? Yeah, I mean, a bit. A relative. Less than I used to. This will be the last stream of the week because I'm not a. No, it won't be the last stream. What am I talking about? I'm streaming on Friday. Next week I'm. Uh, next week I'm away for the Monday and Wednesday streams. This week is normal. This guy is going to get the crate, I think. Or he's. Him or someone of his ilk. Uh, yeah, next uh, next week I won't be around on Monday or Wednesday, so keep that in mind. Strike is still going. I mean, fair play. Fair play. Good shots. Dubai bound. Yes, I'm off to Dubai. So I'll be back. Um, I'll be back next Thursday, but I'll be streaming on Friday. I should have to work next Wednesday with you and Nacho. Both our pocket. Yeah. What are you going to do on a Wednesday? Jeez. Tough break. Well, that's a shame, but nice shots from that guy. I thought that was the sniper guy. I didn't expect him to have a an MK. Not that it mattered too much, but um, I thought that was the Balti guy. So the Balti guy must have been in between us, quite nearby. Go fishing? Yeah, go fishing. That sounds great. I've got 11 hours left on the crafter pass. Do I need to do anything with it? I think I unlocked, like, some some shit already, right? <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else we wanted to get. What are these? These are the shit ones. It's only the prime ones that give you good stuff, isn't it? Oh, my God. It's an elite moon rabbit mask. Was that prime one it just gave me? We got a progressive 
thingy imprint. Did I already have that? I don't. I don't know, to be honest. No idea. Uh, I've got 1,600 whatever points. I, is there anything we we want? I don't know if I can play any of those dances. They might be copyrighty striked. Can't buy anything for that. Well, I guess maybe we didn't have that gun. We can um, we can craft that. Well, I don't know if we're going to upgrade it, but we can always scrap it for schematics, can't we? Was it this one? I need 20,000 thingy points. Well, I can't be bothered to do that now. We'll do that another time. Do I fish? I do not fish. I have I have not not fished. I am not a fisherman. Hey Justin, how you doing? What's the cheating percentage we reckon? Five to ten percent game is cheating? No, absolutely not. I like it'd be nowhere near one percent. Not a chance that five out of a hundred every people are bothering to go and like buy extra hardware to cheat with. Absolutely zero chance. You should fish during eclipse. They all come up looking for breakfast. <laughs> Must be very confusing as an animal in eclipse for, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. 97% at least. Yeah. <laughs> there were bats out too. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it was nice little photos and video you shared of that. Am I playing with Nacho today? No, just solos today. I play with Nachos on Mon Nachos. Nacho on Mondays usually, although I'm not around next Monday. Hey, Retro Geezer, how you doing? Yeah, I think so, Edge. Like, you know, I'm sure there are some people out there cheating, but it's, I think the the chances of you actually bumping into them, certainly casual, because I can't really speak for ranked, I don't play it, but it's just, I think, tiny. The amount of times you'd run into that is tiny of the, you know, hundreds and hundreds of players you come across in a session. It's certainly not something I ever noticed in my game. <laughs> That's the Reddit spirit, Naylor. <laughs> On Reddit, they're convinced that like 80% of players are cheating and that if you dare to say that that's not the case, then you're a PUBG shill. It's a crazy world out there. Bum, 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 bum. Who are you protecting? Exactly. That is what the crazy people on Reddit would say. Nice to see so many people hanging out today. Got 200 across both platforms. Love it. Love to see that. I have a hard time with the guys who are very good at peeking small, like tight little peaks. Yeah, yeah, my peaks are so fucking sloppy and wide. Sloppy, my sloppy wide peaks. It's not something anyone wants to deal with, is it really? But you know, we're just, uh, we're playing for fun. I'm old, so there's that. Well, that's the thing when you're, you know, it's it's a young man, being cracked at video games is a young man's game, isn't it? Like reaction speed wise, but you know, you can, you can still have good game knowledge, which is what I try and used to my advantage but i can't like my my reflexes and my reactions just cannot compete with kids was that ducati question clickbait no it's the topic we we're talking about at the beginning of the video if you want to scroll back to the beginning of the youtube video uh, then we talk about that for the first few minutes or so go and enjoy it define old well, it's relative isn't it there's always someone older. Right. Eringi. Lovely. It's 
61. That is substantially older than me. Yeah, all right. Fair. Damn, you are old. <laughs> Damn. Damn, you old. I'll be 42 on Friday, and now I feel young. Oh, nice. Happy birthday for Friday, Brian. I'll be 39 next week. But I'll be in Dubai for my birthday, which would be kind of cool. 53, way in the rearview mirror. This is kind of one of those games that older people like playing quite a lot, you know. Happy birthday next week. Thanks, man. April, April birthdays, best birthdays. Damn, I'm so young. Erin go, Erin go, Erin go, oh, oh. In my game, don't be in my game, or you'll get banned, you'll get banned. Hey man, so no, this is uh, this is console. <laughs> well, it does say prone in his gamer tag. I'm surprised the Panzer didn't kill him. It seemed like that blob quite close. Sure, you landed very late, mate. Hopefully no one else here. Kind of, I've spent all of my my energy on that that brilliant attack. Forty two or so soon. The double umps, the dump. Hey, you had a dragon off too. Could have shot me in the face with that. There could be other people here, really. I have absolutely no idea. It's likely, in fact, I would say. 37 and feeling young now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, it's a blue chip telephone. Vague eye out for people. I'm really I'm really impressed by the maturity of your stream viewers. Very a very mature crowd. I don't think I have the sort of personality or humor that would appeal to many young people, I think is probably <laughs> probably what does it to some degree. You've I come would, a long way uh, since Frank the Tank and we don't want him coming back now, do we? When I chat to like friends and tell them I do YouTube and then they're like, oh, my kid loves YouTube. What's channel? I'm like, your kid won't like my fucking channel. <laughs> oh, hello. Another one of them. Sure. Hang on. Pick up more of that first. When's the Ducati coming out? Uh, well, it's out on PC now, I believe, and it's out on console next week. GG's. Uh, next Thursday, it's out on uh, console, and uh, yeah, it's out already on PC. With this demographic, have you considered a Viagra sponsorship? I imagine a lot of people see adverts like that on uh, YouTube for us. 
Maybe like, uh, you know, adult nappies. That kind of thing. And maybe anti-snoring thing for your nose. Why do I state that it's so expensive? Is it going to cost more than the others? Yes, because there's no crafter pass available for the Ducati. You just have to buy it by buying shit in the store. Uh, I do talk about it a little bit at the start of the stream today. So if you want to scroll back to the beginning of the YouTube VOD, then I go through the details of the Ducati stuff and we, we talk through that. Hey, Pirate Lou, how you doing? Great to see you, mate. Disappointing. Yeah, disappointing. There's a chance you can get the Ducati for less if you get lucky and get it in a prime parcel, but you still have to buy those and it's pure luck whether you do or not. You're not guaranteed that. If you just get it by buying it with the like the red coins like you'd normally get in a crafter pass, then you're gonna have to spend it was like 160 something bucks roughly for the basic and like 300 something plus for the premium. I think chances are you would hopefully you would possibly get it from a prime parcel spending less than that but that's not guaranteed you could spend that much money and not you know not get the bike 250 quid plus your integrity <laughs> it probably is the same percentage chance as the others i would i would guess Back on Aaron Gould, sure. Sure, 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 sure. I won't be streaming on update ne day next week because I'll be traveling back. Hope the PUBG puts the money to good use. Yeah, me too. Hopefully they just give it all to me. That'd be that'd be great. Yeah, surprising really, because I think the crafter passes have been very popular in the past. But I guess there is just a normal pass available. So I guess they're thinking, well, people will buy the pass and then they'll buy the crates and stuff for the bike as well. It's probably their thinking there. Nine millisecond, yeah, the ping gets pretty, pretty low. It does still spike up sometimes, but it went down to four there. <laughs> What's in the gift box? What gift box? Hey, Treacle. This is on the this is on the Wi-Fi as well. I'm not even wired. This isn't even my wired connection. It's on the Wi-Fi across the house. It's pretty nuts, isn't it? Oh, the lobby, the lobby gift box. Uh, uh, yeah, a big, a big cake. It's for PUBG's seventh birthday or seventh anniversary. If and if people throw enough cakes at it, it opens and plays like the happy birthday song, and it's got a big cake. Abby Dab, Abu Dabby Do. It's a classic, a classic Flintstones gag. We got quite a way across, didn't we? Not a bad effort. Not a bad effort. Hey, Leroy, how you doing? Hey, Ed from the Bronx, NYC. Nice. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome.
How's the game? It's been good. We had a nice win earlier a few games in, followed by another decent kill game, both on Miri. Um, uh, yeah, and the others have kind of been, you know, just all the all the stuff in between. But yeah, decent little solo session. The queues haven't been too bad. I think last week when I was playing solos, last Wednesday, the queue felt very slow um, for a lot of it. But today's um today's been a little a little better. Are they the OG A fifties? They are, yeah, still the same set from I think six, seven years ago. Busted well, eh? It's a bit harder to tell because the green is invisible because the because <laughs> of the green screen. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's still the same set. Should we go do a secret basement? I mean, I know where it, the, there's a fairly near one. Let's get a helmet and we'll just bust over to it. And then try and get a crate. We got ah wrong button. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Well, we can get a helmet in the in the room, I suppose, can't we? You can't use a chroma skin without unlocking the base one. That is correct. You need the base skin to use the uh be able to use the chroma. We're going to get the helmet. We're sensible. This is no one here. Well, we'll try and get a helmet. There we go. Right. That'll do. Never really do these secret basements. They've just been a feature on Erangel that's a bit lost to me, really. But I think it's the thing when you have, like... Because there's so many maps in the game these days with different features that... There's always, like, little things that you kind of forget about. If you didn't have quite so many maps, like, you know, you'd, you'd kind of be more, more of an expert on every little nuance of those maps. But you get your time is so spread thin between all the maps these days. They add new things in, like, a secret room key, and you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot that's a thing. They, they ask, it was, yeah, they, they're quite variable in what they have in them. If you're already, they're good if you're, like, not got anything. Oh. Sometimes you can break them by driving over, but apparently not. Make a nice bit of noise. I mean, there's no, there's not, not that much of any use in there, is it? Like, if you've already got basics, then I don't, you know, I don't really want any of this stuff. I'll take the dragon off, maybe. What were the ARs? They're a barrel? No. There's just a shitload of meds that we don't really want. It's fine. It's not a, you know, it's not a great load of stuff really, is it? Let's see if we can see this crate. The plane sounded quite far, so. Hey Revan, how you doing? Who in the world would shoot that adorable ducky on your back? Yeah, exactly. It looks great, doesn't it? Such a friendly little duck. Did I just see a glimpse of it over here? Ooh, right now we are kind of. Uh, why am I driving like an idiot? I thought I glimpsed it that way, but it could drop miles this way, can it? Whack whack. Uh, thanks, Veronica. GG's on your first win. Love to hear that. That's great. Cheek a bit of AK. What's up, EK Knight? How you doing? We 
we ain't getting the first airdrop. That's fine. We can get ourselves maybe positioned to to try and get a slightly later one. I love how the duck looks through the back of the chair. Yeah, it just looks great, doesn't it? Big fan. For any red smoke, but I think it's a bit of a long shot now. Yeah, you do get more chrom more schematics for the uh, the chroma skins. I think I I had like I think what chroma did I have the no the SLR I had there was it the buzzkill one and then the chroma flat or whatever the SLR one was with the chroma that I got from crates or some shite. And I just scrapped that to upgrade my M4. Best backpack skin. Also on that taxi skin. The taxi skin is one of my favourites of all time in the game. It's a great skin. Someone has looted here. Are you still here? Who knows? Hey, powerful Raph. How you doing? You're back on Twitch. Yeah, a lot of the, I've had a lot of progressives and stuff that I've just scrapped for schematics. Like, keep in mind, this is because I've spent lots of the free, you know, PUBG partner G coin that I get. Opening crates and stuff. It's not something I would really choose to spend... Um, my own money on. But yeah, I had a right old heap of them that I um, that I scrapped when I wanted to upgrade this M4. Hey, Rage, how you doing? Gives you monkey dust space hopper vibes. Oh, that brings back some memories. Looking monkey dust. It's been looted. It's a freaking bot. We're getting all like wiggly and shit. It's a freaking bot. Love what you're doing. Just need to represent the players. Sure. I'll happily be your representative. Sounds great. Have you got any full leveled up? Yeah, the M4 and the, uh, the MK12. I both have those fully leveled. Again, I haven't spent a penny of my own money on that. That's all just free G coin that PUBG have given me as a PUBG partner. I wouldn't spend my money on it if you were beating me around the face with a stick and begging me to. But you know, if you're so inclined. It is, yeah, thousands to. Uh... I'm reading up with you this time. Well, if you stream start me, then I'll report you to the PUBG partner team and you get a 30-day ban, so, and I'll ban you from chat. So don't do that. I mean, even regardless of that, it'd just make you a dickhead. So, um, so I'd rather you didn't. It's all the same. Thanks. You know, everyone else here manages to not be a dickhead, so I'm sure we can all stay on the same page. Uh, let's go a little bit over here. We'll stay central, try and get the, uh, the crate.
Ben, would you agree that keyboard is easier than controller? Uh, well, it depends what you're talking about doing with it, I suppose, really. Like, it's hard to compare PC and console PUBG because they're kind of different beasts, right? When you're playing on PC, you're keyboard and mouse versus keyboard and mouse. And when you're console, you're playing controller versus controller. There's the plane. Um, and as well, on top of that, the recoil is stronger on PC than it is on console. We get weaker recoil than on PC. But I think it's I think it's the mouse that really makes it like easier in PUBG than the keyboard. It's the, it's the ability to use a mouse to point at something on a screen for your to help with your aim rather than um, you know using a controller to move a, a stick that moves a cursor. It's just much much harder. Oh, is that it's this fucking flare, isn't it? Um. So you know that's the it's the mouse that is the difference like when i play on pc which i very rarely do it's in ridiculous how easy it is to snap onto targets even if you barely ever play on pc it's so so easy to snap to targets with such accuracy even without much experience but you know it's still challenging to control the recoil that's the hard thing on console the hard thing on co you know oh. Oh. Oops, misread that. The hard thing on console is isn't the recall. The recall is not bad. It's the it's the um, aiming. It's you know snapping to a point with a controller. Whoopsie. Like if you went and, if you go and play con PC PUBG on a controller, you'll notice that you'll have to adjust your ver um, sensitivity multiplier to factor in the stronger recoil you'll know you'll definitely notice it but you know what in the the hard bit to compete on will be you just be out you know anyone can snap to a point pretty accurately with a mouse you know with with little experience well yeah exactly ed when you're aiming with a mouse you know think if you're sitting at a computer now you know how easy is it to move your mouse around on the screen and click on your tabs click on whatever on the screen you don't you know you don't keep missing when you're gonna go and click on something on your computer do you because you've got your whole arm moving a thing very very easy to control but yeah on a you know whereas with a controller you're like you you just the only movement you've got is this like tiny bit of movement of your thumb to try and have the same effect that's the thing. When people talk about recoil on, con on console, I'm like, it's not the recoil that's the hard bit. It's the aiming that's the hard bit. So when people watch from PC on console and they don't realize we don't have aim assist and then you just, everyone, even good players can look like potatoes sometimes because even good players still snap off targets because it's hard to be fully consistent. Yeah, I haven't played on PC uh, PUBG for ages. Ben, I've been in and out of meetings. Did you remember to do the thing with the clan? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I forgot. Thanks, Brian. You're the best. You're the best. Guess who's really fucked? It's, it's Brian. Brian. I still play both, but I find I play more competitively on console. Yeah, I haven't played PC for ages. I only tend to play PC PUBG if it's for like, uh, I've done a few random like tournaments and charity events and stuff like that, where I've just kind of played it as a, as a one-off. 
I mean, I used that's what I played initially because PUBG was out on PC for like six months before it came out on console. So, um, you know, that was what I played it on very first. But uh, once it came out on console, then I was uh, I was straight on that. I didn't hear this guy land. He looked very close. Like he landed over there. Maybe he turned around. Friend. One of those fights, is it? Oh, great. I disappear into the mist. He's shuffling about, isn't he? This is all very horribly open. I assume he kind of dropped down there. Hey, Ice Cream, how you doing, mate? Jacko, how's it going? Yeah, pretty busy today. Got, I don't know, 100, 240 across the two platforms. Happy with that. Really on that suppressor, to be honest. Oh, already got one of those. Um, we'll keep that in case we decide to take a DMR, I guess. Do I think the AK and SCAR buffs will impact their usage? Um, I mean, it's very, very difficult to say with until, you know, until we get that in the game and can um, have a play with it. They don't sound, I mean, the SCAR, the AK one doesn't sound very, uh, very significant. The SCAR one sounds more interesting to me. That's for sure. And keep an eye on this crate. Oh, okay, there they are. They are 85. They're this way, like, maybe there. Way more to the right, like there. 85, 80-ish. So we find a vehicle. It's not the recoil on the scar, it's the, you know, it's the rate of fire change that makes it sound interesting to me.
You love the scar, it's your go-to gun. It'd be nice to see it make it more competitive. I don't know if it's significant enough to achieve that. Let's see the guy over there. Yes. But, you know, I, like, it only takes a little shift in something to suddenly make it more appealing, uh, you know, over another gun, I suppose. So, what did I say? 7585 vaguely yellow. Yellow's probably way off, but... I mean, the AK is still decent. It's just a bit underused, I think. I mean, my yellow's over there, but I said 85, so we'll stick with the 85-75 decision. No idea how far out they were. Quite far, I think. So it's, there's a P90 to someone took the ammo but left the P90 so they either already have a P90 or they were just hiding the ammo they can't be long gone they might still be hiding here somewhere bang oh that's fine that's all we needed really gun is secondary that's not the Ducati Ducati's not out until next Thursday on console they're out on uh, they're out on PC now. Well, I guess they weren't. Oh, they they were waiting to shoot me just very badly. Brilliant, GGs. Worth the wait. I heard a plane. I don't know where it, where it's gone. Oh, hello. Back we go. I'll wait until it says a catty. How much are they raising the rate of fire on the SCAR? I can't remember off the top of my head. It was like 25 or 50 RPM, I think, wasn't it? Something like that. Glider boy trying to get involved here. <laughs> hey, farmer. friend Strike who's in the lobby isn't he so it could be him in the glider He fucking loves the glider This Orm guy trying to shoot me. Why is no one else shooting anybody else here? <laughs> Who's trying to shoot me? Uh. And we're pretty, um, pretty fucked here. Uh. There's still like this freaking guy with an orm somewhere. Jesus, how do we get it? Oh, he's, this guy's still just chilling here. GG's. 
Always going to be pretty tough. Let's hope he was full stunned, really. There's so many people looking on that position. Nasty. It's the ducky bag. They, they like the ducky bag. I don't blame them. It's a nice bag. I think the thing they said for the recoil for the scar, though, is worth keeping in mind is the recoil reduction was because when you increase the rate of fire of a gun, naturally its recoil will get a little bit harder to control. So you won't necessarily think that the scar has any better recoil control. It should hopefully just feel consistent with its recoil now, but have a higher rate of fire. Have you noticed the inventory bug? The items shift as he bends down to pick them up. Uh, I, not, not that I've noticed unless I'm not understanding how you're describing it. Hey, Choco, how you doing? What's up, Oats? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll be, I'll be. Hi, Field Marshal of PUBG. Hey, Ahmed. How you doing, sir? Had to move to YouTube. Twitch commercials are out of control. Yeah, they're pretty annoying, the ads on Twitch, aren't they? You can sub or get Twitch Turbo to get rid of ads on uh, Twitch. Or you can watch on YouTube. There are still ads on YouTube, but they're not um, not as long. Generally, I think. Who knows? Or replacement set of A40s with the a 80 Mix amp for 65 bucks on Amazon. Nice. Yeah, it's good. The, the mix amp's a good bit of kit. Yeah, I'm not sure, sure about that one, Ed. I'm not sure I've noticed that. It might just be one of those PUBG things that I just kind of tuned out to.
It's pretty annoying. On the Series X, like specifically on the Series X. Chocolate biscuits. It's actually a Cadbury's Cadbury's brunch bar. They're good. They're good little snacky things that feel slightly healthier than just eating lots of biscuits. Hey, Solar Warden, how you doing? I do know that, actually. I think in my most recent graphics video, um, I think I do I do mention that. I have a couple of ones on settings for ARC. If one you're of them not is smiling, more recent, I think, with the up-to-date commands. I think. Something. I certainly remember one of my more recent ARC videos uh, did uh, cover that. Odd time for brunch. It is a, it's a little late in the day for brunch, I'll give you that. It's more of a, a late... It's more of a, uh, like, a liner... Like a late lunch, like late lunch, early dinner. Who's the legend who gifted you a sub? I'm not sure. I don't know. But congratulations. Off. Bosh. That was a good little duck, wasn't it? Enjoyed that. Felt like a right pro. Hence the bezer. Cheeky ruins drop. I know. Old school. You need to upgrade uh, or. Get fresh armor, actually. A lot of M249s here. Oh, gnome's over there. Hey, gnome. If you're not smiling, balls to you. I am smiling. No balls to me. I want to get up here. Oh, strikey again. Hello, strikey. Let's see if Gnome's running over. Who is that? PUBG look up. Thank you so much, mate. How you doing? Are you the farmer again? You see what I mean about solo lobbies just being the same players every game. That's Gnome, Farmer, and Strikey. Just seen three different players that I know or whose names I recognize within the first, like, two minutes of this game.
Gnome was just over there shooting a bot. Let's just stick with the QBZ. So many freaking comps here. The old new ruins were bad. Yeah, the ones they got rid of, right? Yeah, they were terrible. There was some decent stuff in in that, you know, that version of Sanok we had for a little while. Oh, I'm fucked. We gotta get back further. Ooh, I'm so low. Lucky gnome. GG's. Nice little spray there. Enjoyed that one. Nicely controlled. I can finish my brunch bar. What are you apologizing for, Rage? I missed that, but I, I forgive you. Fine. No apology necessary. Let's say. I was going to shoot the tuk tuk. He didn't actually come this way anyway. I'm running in. You started it. Where did I kill Gnome? Oh, literally right here. Um, please don't want to sneak up. I oh, didn't have anything useful. Check this guy for ammo. Oh, that circle's a long way away. Very quickly check the sky for ammo. Hey, Oliver, how you doing? Unsubbed. Oh, it's you, isn't it? I forget who it is. I was like, I'm seeing this gnome name a lot today. I know Savage Gnome. That is someone that I've played PUBG with, and then... You didn't. Have, you don't have your name in it, do you? Run away because I pretty much nothing. Well, I might need your pretty much nothing, because... That ammo's quite handy, actually. Thank you, mate. Right. God, this is a this is a trek. You think I inadvertently ended up in one of your lobbies while waiting to join your squads once and you murdered me anyway. I don't mind people being in my lobbies, like that's not you know, that's absolutely fine. I was I was commenting on the seeing the familiar names because of the small amount of people playing in solos, so you just tend to. Bike? Was there a bike? Oh, well, it's fine. We're running now. The yellow bag conspicuously lying on the ground cracks me up. Yeah, I love the, the ducky bags. It's just hilarious. I mean, we got to kind of cross here and then just like run past boot camp, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this isn't peak time in fairness, so it probably you probably would get quicker queues and more variety of players in the evening outside of normal working hours, for sure. 
Spike. All the dead people. Hey, uh, Hazel, Hazel, how you doing? There's that truck there, but I think we'll just stick with the, the bike play. See how we get on. We can do it! Oh. I so pressed the wrong button. It's LB, isn't it? Did I just... Yeah, it is LB. Oh, I just don't think we got much air. <laughs> Next time. Strikey's still doing some killing. I kind of want to get part... There's going to be lots of people here. I kind of want to get past this. Oh, hello. Past this. And then continue my endeavors thanks mate needed that that's grand don't need anything else doing there uh what's the scope jeff no it's fine where the bike go i got off that for right you're not still mate farmer still alive just hazel it might have been it might have been like some sort of like you know your your death metal alias hates all you know We'll go with Hazel. <laughs> Continuing north, I think we'll just get ourselves well established in this play zone and then we'll turn and face. Yeah, dude, do good, thanks, mate. Having a giggle? Look at that. Got some reach. Strike, he's killing a lot of people, isn't he? Who gave him that idea? Let's float around here for a bit. Keep an eye out for an airdrop. What have we got? You be Z with a four X. Okay. Gotta have your eyes peeled. Old Sunny Sands. I mean, we have to look, don't we? We gotta look. Uzi. The Uzi. That's been looted. Is there anything left for us? Three vest. Thanks. Happy with that. Get ourselves in a bit more of a... Area of better cover here. Bit of an open hillside. Ooh. C4 kill from Strikey there. Get on my level, 2746. Okay. It's like crouch running as well. Oh, strike he's dead. I like it. Go back to my bike and keep an eye on this crate. Well, it's fun to be using the Uzi again. I haven't really been using it for ages because Sanok's been made like a rare map. And it used to be something I used on Sanok all the time. Like Uzi, Uzi VSS a lot. Or this loadout but with a 6x, something like that.
Where did I leave my bicycle? It is just over there still. Let's go get this. It's kind of late in the game to be going for it, but... We're not doing too much else apart from just loitering and seeing if anyone turns up we can shoot, so we might as well... Make a play. Ooh. Quite see where this guy is. The crate's going to drop pretty near him, though. I thought, he was, I thought he must be one of those windows or the roof. Oh, no, he's over there. Uh. Bit harsh. I'll be back. Proning in the corner was an interesting one. I guess he thought the grenade was a risk. shouldn't we? Do we have a red dot? He had two 3x's. He doesn't have a scope for it, kind of annoyingly. Oh, I've got a red dot. I'm in it. Yeah. What a donut! Um, cool. Sorry, Uzi. A donut? What a donut? What's your racing calendar looking like for this year? Uh, I heard that in a show I'm watching called Warrior. Oh. Um, I've just fully focused on... The North Downs Wave 50, the ultra that I've been training for. That's my big race. But I've got... I've, I mean, I'm doing um, NDR as well, North Downs Run, which is just a kind of local 30k that I always tend to do, another trail one. But all my... Yeah, all my focus is just on the... On the ultra. I, and I, I don't know what I'll do after that. I'll get that done and then see what I feel like running. I have a bit of a break from high volume running, which I've been running a lot at the moment. Gets quite intense. Yeah, it was a strange one to go prone there. I don't know if you maybe thought the grenade had like got close to him and going prone does do like damage reduction uh, from frags. I'm right in the middle of this, which I, I kind of hate. I don't want to sit in the house though. I'm not a big... Seeing the house guy. I think we go to the edge. Patrol the edge a little bit. Try and shoot some boys. There's not as many running in. Farmer's still going. So we've got the level 3 helmet now, I need to remember. This is pushing people in. Beautiful. No, that's that fucking bag or some stuff on a shelf. I heard some footsteps. I thought he went under this rock. Maybe he ran back again. There was a guy further back as well. 
or same guy turned around and ran a bit. I want to shoot up there, but. Oh, that's the edge. Okay, so he's alright for the minute. I feel like he heard me and then probably ran back and it's that just that one guy. Oh, he had someone behind him. There's a, there's a fucking lad right here. He is here. Oh my god. That guy was just laying there prone that whole time. Well, I can't beat him, join him. I can't believe that. I just saw his little arm. Whoop. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, hello, mate. You carry him running? Just so. Busy up there. Farmer's dead. Cheeky. Three left. I assume that was probably the guy we saw running in over here, but could be enough. Could have done with that. It's only him and one other left. I see a something sticking up over here in the grass. No. So that man and someone else. It's bad. I don't know where the other guy is. I need to get her and block this guy, though. The other guy was over there. No, he's over there now. Oh, good move from that guy. GG's. Got right round on me. Fun little game. Second place on Sanok. Enjoyed that. That's twice today we've been in like a top three and just been caught by a guy with a sneaky little bit of movement. Quick to move, fire the shots and move well. If I'd really clocked where the zone was, I would have stayed back where we was. I was kind of quite aggressively pushing towards him to close the distance, but we actually had the zone was pushing in my way anyway. We probably could have got over the wall where we just killed that other guy, but GG's, fun game. Very sneaky prone boy, wasn't it? Very sneaky. Over 100 likes on the stream now. Love to see that. If you are enjoying the stream on YouTube, do click the like button. It does help us out. Helps send the stream out to other people on YouTube. Might find it. Might find something new for them to enjoy. So give it a little click. Do us a favor. Thank you very much. You're all amazing. 130 watching on YouTube. 114 watching on Twitch. Nice and busy today. Love to see that. Glad you're all enjoying the solos. Gotta love a Sanok game. It's a great map. I don't know why why the hate for it. It's such a fun map. Everyone fucking moans about it. And now, now we get it once every five weeks. So thanks a bunch. I wish they'd just chuck Paramo and Karakin in the bin. And then we could have like, you know, we could have a much better rotation. Too many maps. Too many maps.
I love the size of that last map. Yeah, Sanox, you just get lots of action. You know, you're straight into it. It's got a nice pace to it. Still has 100 players. Good loot. You don't have to have a vehicle to get around. Just enjoy it. You'd be happy to go back to just Erangel, Erangel, Miramar. And there's Bold. I feel like I would have liked to have a rotate, you know, have a rotation of like four or five of the best maps or something. I just feel like having loads is just, you know, you never, if you have a favorite map and it's not one that's on the priority list, you're just kind of, you're just kind of screwed. But there you go. What can you do? Nothing. Stop ragging on Paramount. It's the only map I do consistently well in. Like I said a million times, it just needs, uh, it needs circles sped up or more players. Off to play some PUBG. See you later, Edge. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good sesh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind... Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind Paramo games or Karakin games or whatever, but I feel like those maps have just not... You know, if those maps aren't going to ever be improved, if they're never going to try and make them better, then, you know, just holiday them until they decide to do that i know there'll be some people who like those maps who aren't going to be happy but i don't know if they really serve much for a purpose now i remember it was Mir only miramar and erangel and everyone hated miramar i feel like initially there was a bit of hate on miramar on console because the performance was really dodgy like, Erangel kind of worked okay. Like, we still had lots of crashing back in the day, but in terms of things loading in, it loaded in okay. Whereas Miramar had a lot of issues on console um, with, um, like, Play-Doh buildings. So you'd drop Hacienda in the middle, and every if you didn't have an SSD, an external SSD attached to your old Xbox, then it would not have loaded in and you'd fall through the floor. I like most maps, they just hate getting the same map like three times in a row. Yeah, that's fair. I'm kind of the same, really, but I, I don't really have ones I hate. It's more that, you know, I, I particularly like Sanok and I just don't get to play it anymore. On, to be honest, I feel quite grateful that we had that couple of months, however long it was, where Erangel and Sanok were fixed. Because I know Sanok generally isn't the most popular in, like, Western regions. It's very popular in, like, Asia and stuff. Um... So it was kind of kind of nice having, um, you know, I felt lucky to have that really because it was it was never a likely thing that was going to happen. So enjoy it while you can. Hey, Gerg, how you doing? Kevin, how you doing? Uh, the update comes out next Thursday on console. It's out now on PC. I went through the patch notes in detail yesterday at the beginning, sorry, Monday at the beginning of the YouTube VOD if you want to check that out if you're interested in that. But um, if you're not, don't worry about it. Even if you had an SSD, if you're on old Xbox, it still did. What about Haven? Do you like that map? I haven't seen it in forever. It's not been in rotation for a long time. Um, I, I, kind of, I do like Haven, but I don't think it has a place in the normal matchmaking queue. I think it, like, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's such a small map. It, it can't really sit in the same queue as, oh, there we go, that's the loadout. You know, as 100 player maps. So I don't know really where it has a place outside of being in its own little, its own little thing. Like when it first came out and it had, um, it, 
it had like a when it was featured Matt when it first came out it was a duos only queue it was duos and one man duos you could queue it as like a solo duos basically like you can with one man squads and that was a really fun way to play it and then they made it squads only for a while and that was kind of I kind of hated that um oh that's what it was telling me to pick up but yeah I don't mind it in itself I just don't think when you're sitting there queuing to get 100 player games and then you get a haven I'm like yeah don't know if I'm don't know if I'm into that. I didn't see anyone drop here, but I mean there's gonna be someone, isn't there? There's always someone. I remember the days of swimming down ten meters at Castle for some camo hot pants. <laughs> Man, Castle on Bikendi was so dodgy when it first came out. I mean, and for quite a while. Like that would just render in so badly and people would fall through the floor. And it was particularly bad at Castle because... Um, let's just take this off a sec so we can look for extended a bit easier. It was particularly bad at Castle because you could also get guns whilst you'd fall through the floor and then there was a little area where you could actually pick up a gun once you'd fallen through the floor under the castle. So you could fall through the floor and then pick up a gun and then shoot at people up through the floor where they couldn't shoot back at you. And it was just like, you know, obviously pretty, uh, pretty bad. The castle issues prompted me to get an SSD. Yeah, that's probably what did it for a lot of people. It was pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, hey, just inside. I just wanted to say, love the vids. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Very good of you to say. Also, uh, old Vikendi also had a brilliant one on um, console in the early days, where when it had the secret cave, where you could like destroy the boulders that blocked the door with um you know grenades and explosions or you could drive a vehicle into it right and so the, and it used to have two airdrops how do we not get a tire in that honestly don't mind me just reloading my gun. And, uh, yeah, that in the cave, it, um... If you had, like, an old Xbox and no SSD, then when you went to land there, you could land there and the boulders hadn't loaded in yet, so you could walk into the cave without destroying them. And then the boulder would suddenly pop in and everyone else, someone would break in and be like, oh, I'm the first guy here, and then someone's already inside there. It's so dodgy. GG's. Good times. Some classic PUBG Vikendi shenanigans back in the day. I enjoyed that and the mountain glitch on Vikendi. We could get into the mountain and shoot out people. There was a lot of that used to go on on old Vikendi. It really suffered for that. Maybe that's why they changed Vikendi to just a completely different map because they're like, we can't fix all these issues. We'll just, we'll just make a new one. <laughs> Cave was my preferred drop. It was super fun when we had the two airdrops inside the secret cave on Vikendi and people would just hot drop it and desperately try and find, uh, you know, a car first or whatever so they could be first in. On PC, the update is fine, yet limited on gameplay aspects. They removed the terrain digging. Couldn't notice any difference in AK. Scar feels improved. Yeah, I felt like the scar probably feel more noticeable. With, dam with small damage changes on guns, 
it's probably something you notice maybe longer term as you start to feel like, oh, I'm maybe winning a few more engagements that, than I would have otherwise thought. Because you don't really notice like one point in damage. You don't want a small scale. But for rate of fire changes, I think they'll be yeah definitely quite noticeable. But uh, yeah, they did remove the digging thing on PC. Went live yesterday for a few hours and then they took it off because it had like some bugs they needed to fix. So I don't know when they'll put that back. Hopefully soon. They've still got all this like promotional material that went out for it yesterday or yeah, yesterday, wasn't it? And now you can't even play it. But my favorite was getting stuck in the Metal Racks cages and military base in Erangel. Yeah, that's why we call it, we used to call it kennels. What the little building with all the cages because... Um, I remember Wayne getting stuck inside it because it didn't load in properly. I mean, like a little doggy in a cage. Cave is pretty cool. What's up, Mr. White folks? How you doing? They really dug a hole for themselves. Nice. I remember driving a bike on Old Vikendi and falling through the map into the ocean. <laughs> you do have old, old Miramar used to suffer from that as well. If you drove around really fast, you could like drive up and like suddenly a bridge wouldn't be loaded in and you just fall like into the sea because the bridge was in, you know, not loaded properly. Yeah, the Murado was too it was too fast for that map. Miramar was too glitchy for the for a fast vehicle like that. That was kind of when those, you know, those earlier days in PUBG were all playing on old Xbox Ones, maybe Xbox One X, you know, and it was a couple of years, I think, really before people started realizing you could get like plug in a USB SSD to improve performance. So those early days were pretty, um, pretty nuts. Some of the performance was questionable at best. There was a man here. You're still on the still on the one X, yeah. Oh, railings. Can he hear me bandaging? It's so hard to hear like what height people are on in this building I find.
Oh, farmer. GG's. <laughs> oh my god, we've been in so many of each other's games today. Honestly, every game we're in the same lobby. Hey, Dangerous Daddy, how you doing? Good to see you. The Dirty Ump. I got stuck in the staircase in Miramar before I know what's going on. The staircases used to be such a hot spot for like glitching into on this game and like on all sorts of maps in all sorts of places. Cheers for all the likes on the YouTube stream. 110. Love to see that. Thank you so much. Good support today. You're doing a cracking job. Has anyone played the uh, new Alone in the Dark game at all? With um, Hopper from Stranger Things in it. Played it, but watched a YouTube playthrough. It's not bad. I remember playing the old, uh, the original, very first Alone in the Dark game, or watching my dad play it on PC. I don't know when that would have been. I was, you know, young, I, and it was proper scary. It was a proper like creepy game. When did the first one come out? Alone, Alone in the Dark. PC, but like the first, the first one. 1992? Was I watching it when I was seven? The second one came out in 1993. Wow, I mean, I guess I was watching that when I was pretty young. Yeah, that was the first one. Scarred for life. Uh, ben, what's best for you? Watching from YouTube or Twitch? Whatever you prefer. It doesn't make any difference to me. Whichever platform you enjoy watching on. Pretty even viewer numbers today. 92 on Twitch. 98 on YouTube at the moment. Both hovering around 100. Love that. Had a few good games today. One win. Second place on Sanok a little while ago. Third place on Miri a little while ago with a good amount of kills and damage. Had a decent little session. Decent little solo sesh. And the matchmaking's been relatively um, prompt as well. What platform benefits you most revenue-wise? Um, I mean, it doesn't make any difference so much that, like, you know, one viewer either way is, is you know, of no consequence. Um, you know, revenue-wise, it's I mean, it's hard to judge, really. Like, the YouTube VOD will generate a lot more... YouTube will generate a lot more ad revenue because it will stay there as a VOD and get a few thousand views and you get ad revenue through that, whereas the ad revenue on Twitch is just a load of shite. Um... But, you know, we kind of, I'm, you know, I monetize the stream through Patreon, really. Patreon is where the bulk of the support comes in. And so if you support on Patreon, then watch on whatever you like. You've already paid to support the channel. So watch wherever you want. Uh, we, you know, we don't have a ton of Twitch subs or YouTube members because I tend to push Patreon as the as the main, the main driver. So it's kind of a, a combined effort, really.
Whichever platform encourages people more to sign up on Patreon on something higher than the $1 tier. <laughs> Little bit of air in ghoul. I think we've had a nice map rotation today, right? We've had all sorts. Nice little mix. Try this again. We got a secret key last time, didn't we? Did we even get the crate? Can't quite remember if we did. No, we didn't find it, I don't think. Can't quite remember what happened. Some shit. Some shit happened. So many scopes here. Well, this has always traditionally been the crate game compound. That's why I like coming here. It's, it's the, the traditional crate game compound. Um, because because it's very central basically it's just a very central compound it's not a particularly hot drop unless apart from other people who watch the stream like dropping here as well because of me dropping here but generally it's not a popular drop spot and it's just a, you know when i'm doing crate games the idea is to like drop pretty land pretty centrally and then um oh fuck it let's just run the mutant now until unless we get something crate to replace it you know the idea with crate games is kind of your um land central grab loot as quickly as you can and then um you know drive to the uh drive to the middle of the zone if you um if you're not in it which is what we're going to do now and then you've got you know a reasonable chance of seeing where the crate goes. Yeah, I was just kind of shuffling the scopes around while I made my mind up, really. I wasn't wasn't really committed. The 2X probably would have been fine. But... Kind of an awkward circle this because it's got the river right in the middle of it, so really hard to predict where where to go to try and get the crate, but we'll see what we can do. Sorry if you're getting car sick. Hello. I mean sometimes. Oh, it's a good shot. GG's. Sometimes you can do that and you end up driving miles. You know, the crate ends up dropping right on the edge and you've just driven miles away from, uh, you know, where the uh, where the crate actually dropped. But I think if you go to the middle, you've always got the best chance of getting eyes on it. Your backpack's little face looking out the back window is comedy. It's great, isn't it? I fucking love it. The, the, it's the best thing about that backpack. <laughs> it just feels like it fits so perfectly, doesn't it, as well? Should have given it a wiggle. I didn't expect him to be coming looking for the bolty shot. Gigi's.
Yeah, again, keeping this nice rotation up. Lots of different maps. Love it. And quite quick games. Like quick, uh, quick to load. I mean, that last game was quite quick, generally speaking. Don't forget, by the way, I put all my PUBG replays now on a side YouTube channel, not on the main YouTube channel. Uh, so if you want to catch my edited PUBG wins, my PUBG good games, there's loads of those. They go out most weekdays on the TBG Plays YouTube channel. The link is in chat. If you want to check that out, make sure you're subbed. There's a new video going out at 6 o'clock this evening. That's 1 hour and 45 minutes. There'll be a new PUBG replay on there for you and there'll be a new one tomorrow and also on friday hey ryan how you doing map rotation has gone so much better i mean i think with the the whether you're getting you know the same maps over and over and stuff it's just purely luck i think you know some days you just get unlucky and you get a bunch of the same map and that's just how it goes when you're playing a game you know with five maps in rotation and 100 players it's trying to balance them for evenly and it's just you know that's the nature of trying to randomly pick maps for people like that it's, it's naturally gonna, you're gonna have like weird little clusters and stuff but um i i think that the shift to having oh that's that's quite nice <clears throat> two three vests the shift to having match map pools work like they do now, I think, has been very positive. Despite me being a bit annoyed, I don't get to play Sanok as much. I acknowledge that Sanok is, generally speaking, not that popular a map in EU and NA. Um, and I think the way they've done matchmaking over the last, I don't know what, like six months or a year or whatever, has generally worked quite well. You know, having these little group of maps that change on a weekly basis, you know, Erangel fixed... Sometimes they've had Erangel and Sanok fixed, Erangel and Miramar fixed. I think just that general, you know, the weekly change thing has been a very positive change from PUBG. But we, and it's, that's worked well for, yeah, it must be a year or so we've had that, right? Boom, 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 bada, boom, boom. I like the system Apex has. They had, they had they had one map for an hour and then rotate, so you know what you're gonna get. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I don't know how I would feel about that. It'd be it'd be interesting to try it out. If you're not smiling, balls to you. Uh, Muffin Man, thanks so much for the 69 month resub. Cheers, Muffin Man. Lovely to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for your support. Big shout out to all our Twitch subs, our YouTube members, our Patreons. You're all amazing feel like it would kind of it would be nice for that to be a bit of a simpler thing and just it just just use patreon and not twitch subs and not youtube memberships but because it's nice to just have one one singular place that people would support from but uh i'm not sure practical in a practical way i'm not sure there's a good practical way of actually making that transition now without just losing lots of money great milestone i mean also some people like having with patreon i can't just give you the benefits that you get from twitch subbing and youtube memberships as well right you know you get the little badges next to your name and you get like gets rid of ads on twitch and if you really hate a map you just go do something else for an hour yeah that's true yeah good good point well it looks pretty pretty chilled at the tennis courts today like last time where some sneaky lad snuck up and shot me. Almost six years. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's quite imagine what what we've done over you know, all the shit that's happened in our lives and we've done over the last six years. Playing freaking PUBG. Crazy. Um, 
So we really need that thumb grip. We'll hold on to it for a minute. Kvothev. <laughs> hey, Famous, how you doing? Nick, how you doing, mate? Not seen you for a bit. You've been away. Oh, I didn't have a vest on. That's what we want. We haven't done much bolting today, have we? Let's do that for now. Keep that as a backup in case I change my mind. Patreon integration with YouTube. Yeah, it's not something I can really control. I can't, like, give you, you know, fancy badges and shit on YouTube via Patreon, unfortunately. I can make, I can make like, the audio commands and shit work, potentially, but, uh... Yeah, you can't kind of control the other stuff externally. Oh, I thought that was a extendy quick. Holidays are almost over. Well, I hope you've had a, a good one. That's kind of what I want on this, not the forex. Very south zone. Okay. Um, we're going to get given a level 3 vest when we do a bit of damage or loot a smoke grenade. Actually, if we just... There we go. We have a level 3 vest. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, we'll just grab this, this, and then we'll go find a vehicle and get in the zone. Unless we see a... Oh, so many meds. Uh, unless we see a emergency pickup handily sitting around, which I do not. Take a stun gun, right? Normally over here we run to get a car. So, well, that's not going to drop me because the zone's freaking miles away. Hmm. I should have looked for cars a bit more as I was parachuting in. I mean, it's not horrendously far away. The next zones might might be difficult. We could run this if we really had to. We could probably jog down to the edge fairly comfortably. Ooh. Keep an eye on this compound. It can be quite popular. The plane didn't really come this way, though, so they would have had to drive over there. I feel like you do sometimes get like a car spawn on this compound somewhere, don't you? I can't quite remember where it is, but sure I remember seeing one. Just keep it near the trees in case someone tries to run me over. Yeah, I don't know where a car would be. I don't rightly know. I see a buggy. Oh, striking in the lobby again. I don't think I've had a single game today where I haven't. I mean, apart from the ones where I've died quickly and not had a chance to see. But I don't think there's been a single game today where I've not seen someone I recognize. Someone I know <laughs> in the kill feed. Like, Strikey, we've had two or three games at least. We've shared Are You The Farmer? Same. Gnome? Same. It's been, um, it's been a lively one. Oh, that was bad shooting. Jesus. I'm aiming right into the dirt with that. Thankfully, he wasn't the brightest shots in the bush. Still nearly bloody got me, though, didn't he? 
Um, do you have anything I want? Oh, that's not great. Fire game, please. Oh, that was a heady all day. Come on. That wasn't. Hello from Greece. Hey, friend. How you doing? I don't think he moved off that tree, did he? Everyone wants the buggy, yeah. I see you. Oh, it was a good shot, GG's. It's almost, it made it like the pan sound as well, which is kind of weird. It like headshotted me and, oh, maybe it was my helmet coming off, wasn't it? Which sounds like the pan shot. I feel like we had to commit to that fight. We were having a nice little scrap. He was shooting quite well. GG. Well, that was our first real foray into bolting today. Didn't go, um, didn't go amazingly well. Damn you! Yeah, I've been shot in the head a lot the last couple of games, haven't I? Right, little bullet magnet. Ooh, it's the... What do they call this? Like the sunset? Or the... I don't know. The funky coloured Erangel. Nice. I'll take it. Sunset, yeah. I'm pumped that FPP matches are regularly filling up on NA at peak times. Nice. Love to hear that. That's good. On what um, game modes? Do you have FPP for all queues? Because in EU, you only get it for... Um, it's only available for squad. You watched a dude hike the Azores. Definitely bucket list now. I don't really know where that is. I've heard of it. Portugal. It's a nice picture. Re an archipelago composed of nine volcanic islands in the Macaronesia region of the North Atlantic Ocean, west of Lisbon. Nice. Yeah, I never really knew where that was. I've kind of heard of it, but surprised it looks like a pretty crazy place. Surprised I've not seen like documentaries about that and stuff. I mean, it's quite far off Portugal, isn't it? You wouldn't want to swim it. I mean, it's about as far from Portugal as Portugal is from where I'm sitting right now, but out in the middle of the ocean. My friend is hiking El Camino. 
De Santiago. Where's El Camino? Don't worry. I have Google. Stretches across Europe and Spain. Interesting. I mean, sounds very Spanish, doesn't it? But that could be, uh, you know, doesn't really narrow the location down massively. Him and his wife are there for like six weeks. Nice. We had lots of Erangi today. It feels like a bit of a treat, doesn't it? Like enough Erangi for it to be fun without it being like, okay, we're getting a bit much now. But we also got shot in the head very quickly in that last game, so that doesn't really count, does it? Just retired. I hate them. Hey, buddy. Sorry, ducky bag. He picked up too much, did he? There's one guy around here somewhere. Or two parachutes come down. That's kind of off putting. That's a shift, isn't it? Shut up. What's this? Yeah. I just wanted to get a scope and then... balcony um interesting well i'm not gonna go charging at that i need to get a car he's gonna have a good line of sight on that car annoyingly i'll go this way and try and get a scope first we'll get lucky and find a parachute bag Build up my bag. So 
so many of them. That's the car we want. What's your thoughts on Rondo? There's, I think there's a guy upstairs. Oh, GG's. Hey, Yuki. How you doing? No worries. How was the rest of your stream? I heard someone running on wood in there as well. I think there was someone upstairs in that building or in the building next door to it. Um, what are your thoughts on Rondo? I played it a few times. I feel it lacks interesting stuff in the middle of the map. I like Rondo. I mean, I don't. I hate the, the stupid guard stuff. I don't like the marketplace system and the little missions you get, but... You can, I just kind of ignore that stuff, and I like playing on the actual map itself. Apart from the stupid mountain things that are everywhere that everybody goes onto with e-pickups and shoots from all the time. Those are pretty annoying, but yeah, I, I enjoy playing on it. Does the job. It was a good day. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Which is better? Bolt actions, semi-auto for sniping? It just depends what you enjoy using, really, and what game mode you're playing. Like, I think in solos, you know, the bolty can be a bit stronger because you don't have an... You know, in duos and squads, you get an extra chance if you get knocked, right? But in squads, you're just dead. So those one-shot kills in solos are more powerful than they are in duos and squads. And if you have, when you have multiple people shooting at the same target with DMRs, you can take Turning them down, down you know, no, very you quickly and effectively. The for goodness sake. Biggie Smalls, thank you so much for the super chat. Work. Cheers, mate. Really appreciate the support. Bloody legend. Just checking the missus brought the washing in because I can hear it pissing it down. Don't worry, it's okay. The weather's been so shit for ages here. Like, I know notoriously England has quite crap weather or the UK has quite crap weather, but it's been so rainy for the last like two months and now it's just been super windy all the time as well. I'm out doing so much running when it's just like ridiculously windy or ridiculously wet or all of the above and muddy it's not ideal conditions it's knackered my running shoes out they're absolutely fucked to get a new pair because they were so fucked from all the mud drying them and cracking finally finally have some nice weather sunny in the mid 60s nice it has um it's warmed up a little bit here at least like it's got warmer but it's still been very wet and very windy have i read the book ultra marathon man no i haven't i haven't really read any like running books i spend a lot of time like reading stuff online on running and watching videos and that kind of thing but i don't really i haven't really for ventured into reading um books on running yeah i guess a lot of the you know information you kind of probably consume via videos and via blog posts and online articles is you know often stuff that's opinions that have been derived and expanded from from reading some of these running tomes i 
I just felt like running. That's kind of what it feels like, my training at the moment. I'm just out plodding around for ages, very slowly. Definitely uh, Forrest Gump style. Yeah, looking forward to my first ultra, seeing how it goes. It's going to be interesting. I feel like I'm preparing well for it. I'm feeling very fit and very strong at the moment. My heart rate is just like ridiculously low when I go running now. Quick read. Think you'd enjoy it. I should keep that in mind. Ultra marathon, man. By Dean Kamatzes. Kamazes. Something like that. It's amazing. My wife hated me for training for marathon triathlon. It does get you out of the house a lot, doesn't it? It takes up a lot of time. And it creates a lot of washing when you're training, you know, five, six days a week. <laughs> Endlessly washing clothes. I feel like my energy levels are okay. Um, but I have been eating just a, a shitload of food, which I, which I kind of love. It's just great being able to just eat constantly because I'm just burning so many calories. I'm just, I'm an absolute machine, eating machine at the moment. It's great. I mean, eating is like one of my favorite things. So to be able to do, just do more of it. Love it. Hey, Hot Potato, how you doing? Yeah, GG's are good today. We had a dub. We had some good little end games. We've had some nice chat. Just been fun. Been busy today. A couple of hundred people watching all day, pretty much. Been shot in the face a few times, but, you know, that's like a charitable act, isn't it? You know? Oh, he ran in there. I, was like, I thought he was on the roof for a minute. I wondered where he'd... Hey, buddy. Actually, he was quite ready for that... That rush. We rushed the rusher. Don't even have a vest on, mate. Doesn't matter when they don't have time to shoot, I suppose. Eats a large pizza whilst on a run. What I do or the guy in the book does? I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. excessive with the ammo there go in the book fair enough yeah it's not the um it's not the approach i'm going for word to the wise learn to temper that eating before you fall off on the train yeah that is I remember like reading a thing a while ago that was or hearing someone talk about how you know it's not it's not uncommon to see athletes who are like professional sports people retire and then just get really really fat and you're like how are you fat you would spend your life being like you know an athlete and a sports star but like for some people when you when you you get your body used to like consuming tons and tons of calories because you're training so much and your body needs that for sustenance and then you suddenly stop doing that training but your body's used to you're still kind of used to eating that level of food suddenly you can just you know you you rock it up so that'd be my excuse when i um when i stop marathon running and um and become a big fatty
I run to justify the shit I eat. I mean, I'm kind of the same. I mean, it's not the only reason to run, but it's definitely, um, it, I, I feel like it helps me not ever have to feel any guilt about <laughs> what I'm eating. So I'm like, oh, I ran, you know, 50 miles this week. I can eat, I can snack. TBG becomes the big fat gamer. <laughs> Why do they call you the beard if guys when there's just one of you? Balls I'm you. so goddamn Ellen. fat. Hey, Giraffe, how you doing? Thank you for the 47 months. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for the support. Pulls up Ben's chin photo, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the kind of general advice for, you know, ultra running is you're trying to consume as much calories as your body can absorb, but you can only absorb so many calories an hour, and it's never going to be as many calories as you're burning. Let's take this bike. We'll leave a nice taxi for someone. Hey, plane. Someone's here. Well, I, I don't know where they are, but they didn't shoot at me. Should we try and get this? It feels very ambitious, which is coincidentally my middle name. 20, just over the hill. Hey, Salstash, how you doing? Woo! It's fine. Hey, Harry, how you doing? Looking for meds? Yeah, maybe. I'm surprised I didn't get shot out there. Maybe they were just caught napping while I was whizzed by on my bike. Hitting him nicely as well. Got a nice headshot on me. Waving my aim around. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? I thought for a second he might not have heard me. He was a little low to... Um, I think he waited for his bike to slow down a bit more than I did. <laughs> yeah, that guy, was that the guy that headshot me out the... No, that I just I was got headshot by a car. That guy did kill me at one point earlier. But yeah, that's the thing today. We're just seeing the same people all the time. There's not many, The matchmaker's not been too slow, but there's not that many people playing. So we're seeing the same people a lot. Yeah, yeah, I remember the, the K98 game of tag. I can't remember what game it was we saw him. I think it was a little while ago. Boom, 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 boom. Damn, damn. I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen you for a bit. At the beginning of the stream, I feel like we're in the same game for about the first two hours. GG's at Boatyard. Oh, GG's, mate. Boom, 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 boom. Was there someone else? Did you bump into anyone else there? I swear I heard like a wooden footstep when I was coming out to fight. Like there was someone upstairs in that building or next door or something. Yeah, I just tend to kind of have an eye on the kill feed so I clock the names names that I recognize. Maybe I hadn't been killing anyone. You didn't know I was there. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 
Here's today's Power World video still doing well. Picking up again. Love to see that. Here's Powie Pals. Even though they did kind of break the game a bit with the update. Still some nice content in there. It's quite PUBG of them, really. Back on Miri. Sure. I don't want some more. Kind of feeling like a bit of a Tago Sanoki kind of, you know, feeling at the moment. But I'm just not very good at die quite quickly. You're probably seeing my exit back to the lobby. <laughs> On the road again. Let's start the countdown. We got 86. That's fine. Start the damn countdown. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for my life to be over. I don't want to wait for my trap keeper. Great Trapper Keeper reference. Thank you. I'm glad someone got that. It's quite niche, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> I had that. Oh. It, it was uh, what that singing that was. Um, I didn't even realize it was a real thing that, that I know of it from um, South Park. It was South Park Series 4. I had it on VHS and used to just watch it like absolute shitloads. And there's. There's a Trapper Keeper reference in it that Cartman sings to the Dawson's Creek theme song tune. I don't want to wait for my life to be over. No, you can't use these. There we go. Science. I didn't... Yeah, I, it hadn't occurred to me that that was like an actual, um, an actual brand. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I've, ne I've never heard of it outside of South Park. I've never heard a reference to it since or before. <laughs> I mean, I had that on VHS, so that was, you know, a while ago. Why have I marked Hacienda? Sure, we're going to Hacienda, boys and girls. It's just like it's 2018. When I was a young man in my prime. One thing I noticed on my time away is everyone loves Miramar now. I swear it was quite unanimously disliked back in the day. Um, it's more popular than it was. I think the thing that made it a lot more enjoyable was when they changed the pacing of the blue zone, which is, what, like a year ago or something? Maybe a bit more. And they changed it so the games are just generally a bit shorter. And that, for me, like helped Miramar a lot because I just found it could get a bit slow and stale sometimes when they brought the match times down by like three, four, five minutes, that that made a big difference for me. It was a nice design, niche design for folders, make it harder for papers to fall out. Yeah, I'm trying to remember like the context of the, the episode now. But... I think there's a guy on the balcony above me. Hey, buddy. Think fast. Uzi nine millimeter. He's on these stairs, but I need a I need a helmet.
Was that like a bit of a fad that everyone wanted for a while, your, your Trapper Keeper? My eyes are getting a bit tired. He's upstairs still. That's some healthy pre-firing there. <laughs> Drilled about five shots into the wall before we even got around the corner. Glad we did, though. He still put him on half health. Swoop, thank you for the 200 biddies and all the Trapper Keeper information. There's still a guy up here somewhere we've got to watch out for. Trapper Keeper is Best a brand binder of loose leaf binder created by Mead. Popular with students in the United States and parts of Latin America from the 1970s to the 1990s, it featured sliding plastic ring. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good to know. I'm very surprised this guy up here didn't try and shoot me in the back or push during all of that. Seem to make no effort to engage in that fight. It's nice to learn about something new. Thank you for sharing. Know all about trap keeping out. He's still here. I still heard him scuttling about upstairs. See ya! Trapper Keeper History via Robot Voice was not what I expected today. <laughs> um, no. Quite a poorly timed um, spinny spin there. dive in because I start getting shot third party Change his, change his plan. Oh, look, it's farmer again. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. I feel like I'm kind of left, being left out here.
buddy. zone yet might as well get in kind of keep getting caught in two mines don't really know where i'm where i'm going you killed rondo farmer and rondo half an hour ago yeah i killed him earlier on and then he killed me in a game as well i killed him in my sanok win i think didn't i no it's my sanok yeah i don't know one of the games i killed him in and he got me back at some some point Lot's got an airdrop. Maybe. Someone trying to shoot me from miles away there. Someone still trying to shoot me from miles away there. It's ambitious. I'll give him that. Let's see if we can find a bike. I parked right up there. Company that founded Trapper Keeper was founded in 1846. Oh, that's pretty old. Friend. Ooh, nearly fucked out, didn't we? He decided to bail because he's getting third partied, which is. Probably the right decision. Well, I don't know if it's the right decision, but I can understand. Like you misunderestimate, misunderestimated, underestimated. How quickly I could get a line of sight in his vehicle. Thank you, sir. For some reason I have sod all, so that's quite handy. Friend. Friend. Um, we don't really want any of that. I don't want your stupid heavy stock. Ow. That's probably my cue to um, Miraculous. get out of here. I'm, I'm cock a hoop. I think it's terrific. I loved it. Don't never fail to not misunderestimate Don Tomo. I say, couldn't have put it better myself. Couldn't have not put it better myself. It's nice, isn't it? Um, just waiting for the crate, which I can't see. Unfortunately... Kind of hoping it'd just be, oh hello, dunking on my head. Oh, that was so close. Get this safe. Kind of going back into, into loss. Excited about the scar buff? Yeah, I am actually. That guy just been AFK there that whole time. I think he'd skinned that car and then disconnected. I think you can do with two helmets. I have been shot in the head quite a lot today. Yeah, I do need to watch out for that. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out the Scar. Definitely more than the AK buff. I think it sounds a bit more interesting. Trinky the Cup. I recognise Trinky the Cup as well. I can't remember where from, but I recognise the tag. Just quite like a nice, memorable gamer tag, isn't it? Quickly. Oh, don't hear that. Oh, oh that was close. God, I haven't driven through town for a while. I never come down here. Someone's got an A dub. Lucky them. Still got plenty of gas. It's a proper loss, loss finish here. Jeez. Hey, bro. How you doing? PUBG Storms are a walk in the park after experiencing Helldivers fire tornadoes. Yeah, Helldivers was pretty intense. Definitely a good laugh, though. You in there, or was that you that kind of ran out and... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's an, it's an old crate. Bloody helmet. Gonna shoot me, trying to shoot me from miles away. They wanna shoot me, didn't they? Not today, baby. Not today. Got the canine at least, but yeah. I mean, it is. It's all. It's all lossy, isn't it? Should we try and get up on this hill? It's like the only non-lost place to kind of go. To fight from. Is that a person we can see there? It looks a little bit like a person laying prone, but I'm hoping it's just a bush or something. Oh, oh, the... Can you feel the power? It slides. I think it was a bush. It hasn't shot me yet, which is promising. Don't like it when the bushes shoot you. There is a Murado there. Oh, there's a man next to it as well. Lucky boy. Alright, fuck it. I want a crate too! I mean, we know this giddy guy is on low health. You going for that crate, are you, mate? Yeah? Terrible shooting, but we got him. It is. Bodied with an orb, we weren't on full health. Ah, lucky. Always jump lost because 75% of the games end near. I never really go there because I find it very slow and bitty to um to loot, really. And I prefer kind of having more open areas to fight and stuff rather than um Yeah, rather than sort of the town town scraps. 
At least the giddy boy got his first. Yeah, it was bold of him to go for that. I mean, I guess he must have done a bit of medding while he was driving because he got his health back up from being headshot. And then we shot quite badly on him. But you got to go for the crate, haven't you? Got to give it a whirl. Bit of Rondi. Rondo, 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 do. Fuck you. Load of shine. I kind of, I prefer like urban fights more in PUBG and I think squads and duos a bit more interesting where you have multiple people, you know, holding angles and getting knocks and that kind of stuff. Rather than solos is just even more just kind of luck of like one little angle, one little shot, bam, you're dead kind of thing. Can read a nice little article about Trapper Keeper while um while we're waiting. Yeah, season season four, <laughs> Trapper Keeper was the name of the episode. While waiting for the school bus, Carl reveals his, to his friends his new Dawson's Creek, Dawson's Creek Trapper Creek Keeper. <laughs> I thought it was like a lunchbox or something. It looked like a little thing for putting his school lunch in. Trapper Keeper. There you go. Now we know all about Trapper Keepers. Thanks. Shut up, fireworks. Jesus, so noisy. So, so noisy. I don't need that. Bit hung, Sean. Give it a whirl. Have you paid your dues, Jack? Hey, Jack. Hey, dude, yes, mate. Sir, the Good to see you. In the mail. In the mail. Oh, you're right there, weren't you? Look at that. I love the level of aggression there. Did not expect someone to be turned around and doing that already. GG's. I thought I'd been about as rapidly aggressive there as you could possibly be. With my Tommy gone. Go on, give us another quick one. Treat us. Nice. Go on, Sanok. Sanok or Tago, I would like, please. I'll take a Rondo. It's another mirror mark. Well, sure. We've had a lot of mirror today, but we're not going to uh, back out on solos.
straight through the middle. Let's see what we can do. Uh, so I will be streaming on Friday this week. We've got a normal, fully normal schedule this week. But uh, next week, I won't be on on Monday and Wednesday. So we'll just have the Friday stream uh, next week. Just so you know. Anything PUBG's plan about the links on other maps? Uh, it's not something I've heard any mention of. Sadly, it would be nice to see it, wouldn't it? It's a much forgotten and unloved gun, really, isn't it? I can't remember the last... I had one with Natch, a game with Natch a few weeks ago. And then before that, I felt like it's been months since I had one. Appreciate my friend getting married the same week as your upcoming work trip. Very well-timed. Very convenient. Think you used it twice, whatever. <laughs> I mean, even back when I used to chase crates loads in solos, I still rarely saw it. It's still such a rare thing to get your hands on. Yeah, I definitely think they could add the links to... I think they put it on the other maps and then make it so it's slightly lower chance in crates than other guns. That'd be fine. Any training runs in Dubai? Yeah, I'll be running in Dubai. I need to, really. I, I can't miss that many days. is isn't great. I need to try to keep up a good mileage. So, um... Oh, probably dead now. Oh, just unlucky. Both going for the strafey, strafey, shooty, shooty. Got so many quick games today. It's been like either we've had like three long games and everything else has been rapid. There's been a few in the middle, which is fair. Uh, yeah, well, I probably won't be running outside, but um, I'll be, the, the hotels have, have gyms in, so I'll just be doing some treadmill running whenever I can squeeze it in, really. Like, it's right. It's not when I would have chosen to go away because the race is in, like, just over a month. So it's kind of peak running time, which is, yeah, so it's kind of annoying for that. So I'm running pretty much every day this week. Um, and then I can't run. I'm flying on Saturday night, so I can, can't really do, like, a long, long run because I don't want to go and run 30, 40 kilometer training run and then sit on a plane for seven hours is probably not a great thing to do. So I'm just going to do like 25K or something on Saturday and then squeeze in what I can when I'm away. And then uh, and then I have a couple of clean weeks after I'm back for um, putting in absolutely massive mileage. And then I can chill. Well, chill till the race. So do some laps of the plane. Yeah, in fact, exactly. That would sort it out. be good for Strava I don't know how my GPS would work very well on on a, an aeroplane unless it was on the ground <laughs> do that for seven hours on the plane yeah it'd be interesting wouldn't it <laughs> works okay if you hold the phone near the window <laughs> Get some new, get some segments done, wouldn't you? Your son tracks his flights on his iPad when he travels. 
well, like, his, he watches his own flight while he's on it. My dad's quite into, like, watching, tracking flight, our flight. Since he discovered that you can track flights, you know, now whenever we fly anywhere, he'd be, like, nosing at our, uh, our flights and stuff on whatever websites you can do that on these days. Many airlines have a built-in tracker on their own app. I don't feel there's much I can do about it. Like, I just, you know, I get in the plane and eventually they let me off again and hopefully I'm in the right place. He's a private pilot, so he has a pilot app that shows real-time flight data with GPS. No, just yell at it. <laughs> Fly faster. He's going the wrong way. I used to report to Nacho what interesting planes were flying over him while streaming. <laughs> there we go. Finally got in. I was going to give up then. It's taken so long. Back on airing you. Sure. Cracking beard. That is a proper like disguise look there. I love that. Airingle. 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 Ooh, ooh. That's not good, is it? Stream's okay. Doing this little thing, is it? Ba ba ba. When he does a couple of these, doesn't it? Okay, I'm on PUBG. Normally he lets us load back in. No? No, that's it? Oh, well, thanks for that, PUBG. Um, well, I think I'll leave that there. Then I'm not going to queue up for an, for another one um, at that stage because I've got to go out in a little bit. So, um, yeah, nice. All right, thanks for hanging out today. It's been a giggle. I'll be back on Friday for Patreon squads. If you want to come and get involved in that, check out our Patreon page. Get signed up on that. It's a fantastic way to support the channel. Big shout out to all our Patreon supporters who do already support the channel. You're absolute heroes uh, and you help keep the channel going. Shout out as well to all our Twitch subs, our uh, YouTube members as well. You're all fantastic. Um, nice. All right. I will, uh, I'll see you all on Friday. Have a lovely rest of your day, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you next time. All right, Floaty. See you next time. Bye-bye.